I beat the game before, so I'm about to like master reset everything. Where's options? Clear unlocks. Yes. All right. <laughs> Let's do this again. <laughs> I want to see everybody like pop out, you know? Three, two, yeah, speed it up. Come on, come on. That's cool how technically there's no background and like you see my um border thingy. Yeah, that's cool. Where am I going? I'm not so close to this. Even got rid of the terror threat um icon. Powers haven't started in Vietnam. Vidman? Look, you don't see that part. That's so weird. It's just a helicopter flying across. You're gonna miss that part every time? That's a... Alright, well, here I am, Rambo. I knew something was wrong when I didn't see Rambo first. Rambo, aka Sylvester Stallone. You know, he's older now. I, mean, I still think he looks great. Uh, or... Bro, Mando. Why does it look like that on my screen? Look at that. Do you see that? Do you, do you, do you see this? This is the. <laughs> well, at least I won't be blocking any of them. What is this? This is. Uh, sorry. I'm... <laughs> what? This is a Terminator. Oh, yeah. Not the Terminator. The other one. Oh, well, back to uh, Rambo. Yeah. Slice! Ah, he left anyway. Yeah, America! Very liberated. Okay, it wasn't much death. I'm not satiated. Yeah, that's like, I think it's like three levels for each, um, little place you go to. Hey, bro. <laughs> oh my god, it's, uh, um, Mr. T. Mr. T from 18. His name is Baracus. Yeah! Burn. He's dead. Jeez. All right, a commander. Commander? <laughs> That's a different thing. Oh my God! Is Chuck Norris? There's like three different Chuck Norris in this game. Now this is Te Walker Texas Ranger Chuck Norris. I don't really know many of his movies, but I know my grandpa really loved watching the shows. Oh God! Smack. Hey, smack. Wait, I don't have that yet. What is that? How do I, how do I use that? Oh! <laughs> oh. <laughs> Wait, did this get me that? No, right? What's an unlock I gotta unlock? Alright, part three of this. This is a simple place, it's gonna be quick. Gotcha. Uh-oh. They say the weirdest little sounds. I love it. Oh no, he's gonna, he's gonna shoot again. Once they kind of know you're around, they kind of shoot for a while. Actually, I'm pretty good at this game, by the way. I'm not, you know. Oh, you know? Never mind. I'm not saying nothing else to brag. <laughs> I'm gonna die. Ah. Ah. Well. I love dying by the stupidest things in this game. That's my favorite thing about it. Hi. <laughs> Jeez. Really? You died from falling? Oh my god, it's McLean! It's Bruce Willis. Bro heart. My man's. He was the one I was hoping for. I like how he got his little police thingy with his um the little straps on. Oh boy. He was about to shoot me if I didn't do that. These flags give me my checkpoints. <laughs> Boom. Oh. That was melodramatic. I <laughs> I got quiet for a second. I thought this guy was gonna run out. That's hilarious. And not even my fault. How do I use my... Okay. Yeah, that's what I wanted. <laughs> Chaos! Hey, 
Jake, bro. Ah, Baraka, Jake, the uh, 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 B B D. Yeah, America. <laughs> I need more energy than that. I, I want the. Oh my God, I want the guitar riff to play while I'm playing the game. There's four places. What is that, boss? Can't be the devil. That's all. Oh no. My brother. It's MacGyver. Hit. Okay. He can stick these like, like that. He's very uh, chaotic. The dog will pick this up like it's a toy. <laughs> I stuck it to his face. He only has these, by the way. So I'm always, man. He okay. Well, I'm trying to noise again. When did he kill him, friend? Stop it! Shut the door's kick! Ah! No, thank you. Kick it! Shut! Kick it! Kick it! Oh, like, <laughs> that's like a spinny kick. I love it. Oh, you mother! Oh god. I created a problem. Stop it! Wait, I'm not satisfied. Come on now. There we go. Hey, don't do that! I died! Loser! <laughs> I died! No! That was fair! I couldn't see! Man, hard mode is ridiculous. They're sensitive to everything in hard mode. Oh, come on. <laughs> I, I know to get rid of you. There. <laughs> I pissed the whip him. I wanna, I wanna, no, 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 no. He needed to go. This can't, is this, okay. It's like, uh, come on now, that was four. Uh, the tower went up, why? Amber. This is Artotska? No, uh, sources claim that it is in fact a country. Let's move out! What is it? <laughs> it, it is a country. Sources claim it's a country. He's not believing it until he sees it. Ah! Yeah, uh, one of my favorite weapons. Straightforward. Bad dog! Alright, dog got to go. Dog was not my friend. My dog don't bite. That dog bites. That's hilarious. Eh. Oh god, I did a stupid thing. How did you live? That's not fair. Oh my god, it's Wesley Snipes! Ish! The Wesley Snipes is the one Wesley Snipes. Well, besides Demolition Man, that's a good Wesley Snipes. Although he had like cheat code, that wasn't fair. You killed the dog. You killed the dog. I'm a vampire. I'm killing everybody. Ow! God dang it! Forget that blows up. The dog won't shoot me. Alright, come on, Rambo. That's gonna be hilarious. I <laughs> got here. Mine! Bad dog. No! We don't need a bigger dog. When the dogs um eat stuff, they get. Oh my god, they're getting massive. Hi! Ah! Oh, up with that. No, bigger dog! Goodness. Why is that? Oh, come on. I'm gonna waste it. Oh, man. 
All right, I'm going to Chuck Norris you out of here. Hold on. My joke didn't land at all. <laughs> really? Falling kills you? You missed me, by the way. Come get me. Come get me. All right. Well, enough for you. I'm going to die. Yeah. <laughs> I want the I want the crazy stuff to come up. Oh wait, I didn't see how many people I needed next. Uh huh. Thank you for telling me there's one. No, oh. hold on. Yeah, I don't need you. All right, braid. Come on, bro, raid. Bro, blade. Oh, goodness. You know, if you know Blade's character, this man is don't take. You don't play a lot of games. Oh my god. <laughs> Every time I try to say something cool, you know? You cannot get me. <laughs> what? That made no sense. No. At least bad dogs, you know? All right, which one is this one? Oh, an extra jump! Oh god! <laughs> Why are you shooting it now? Get over! Take it! Oh, you mother! Oh, at least you're dead. Unnecessary. Come on, Rambo. You're my favorite jumper. Like jumper, jumper, not the, not like the song. The different, that's a different type of jumper. Great song, though. Oh, no, Dread. I've seen that movie. That movie is wild. <laughs> it's a wild movie. It seems very, it seems a, a bit tamed, but my God, is it wild. All right, come on, Mr. Mr. Cop Man. It's a future, futuristic-ish? I don't know how to explain it. Isn't that really futuristic? Because it's a concrete jungle type of world? But it's also like part apocalyptic? I, I don't know how to explain it. It's a lot going on, but you, you know one thing. It's about drugs. Ah, shut up. Drop the bees! There we go. The bees! The bees! Oh, God, the dog. Okay, God, they can kill him. Where's the dog? Where's the dog? He went crazy? He ate the wrong person? Ah! He's snitching! Get him! For America! God, that's, a, that's the scariest one. Hello? No, my business. Hi. Ah. My God. Anything can kill you in this game. I'm always so careful. Alright, Blade, let's do this. I like your jumps, by the way. Oh no. Ha! <laughs> Thought I wouldn't get through that. Ah, shut up! Whoa, what? I don't need a bridge. Oh god, I need a bridge! <laughs> I'm holding my breath. These dogs are not the smartest, by the way. Just get behind it! You can get rid of it. I think it's a problem. A big problem. <laughs> that was special, by the way. Ah! No, no, that's Ow! America! When you play this with more than one person, and they jump on the plane without you, that plane is leaving. They just want one person. Anybody else is optional, pretty much. Oh, no! Stop it! What, are you, what is that? What is that hand? Is that gum on a piece of stick or something? That seemed like something he would do. That was funny. He didn't do anything about that. Hi! I'm glad they have a move where I don't have to, like, <laughs> shoot. Ah, here we go! Chaos! It gets worse later. Oh my god, it gets worse. Much worse. No! Stop! 
There we go. Satisfaction. Yes! Is that little guy down here or is he up there? Oh, there he is. Get him away. No. I don't think he's dead. I think he just knocked out. McLean is pretty. He's a pretty nice guy. He doesn't really kill. Oh, God! Oh, God. It's Jay. It's, it's, it's Jay from Men in Black. It's apparently Jay from Men in Black. There we go. Bye, truck. Nah, they need to bother with you. Hi! I like this song. Sorry, I'm listening to music in my ear as well as playing this. It satiates my ADHD. It also gets me talking about stuff all the time. You know, sometimes you gotta keep yourself entertained, you know? Oh, God! This is a great song for this fight. <laughs> it's funny. Twilight! Oh God! Oh no! This thing must have blown. Oh no! Here we go. Terror cannon. There's a shooting man. Oh God! Terror cannon. Oh, why don't you press the button? You already said the thing. If you want the effect, you gotta you gotta leave quick. Is there a dude over here? No. It's a. Oh, he's not in the cage. I have too many. Probably. You, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I got a boss fight. I forgot about that. Every now and then you get a boss fight on these levels now. Pretty much all of them. Um, this is a pretty simple one for me. Blade. Not the perfect new fist! <laughs> Dread, please! I can't! Oh, come on! Are you kidding me? Oh, God! Kill him! I don't want to do this again! No! No, 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 no! Transitions is odd, but hey! <laughs> I'm playing Power Force! I'm gonna try to. Oh, I'm gonna do this. I can get different things when I um, do these little side missions. But uh, I'm, I'm gonna try to beat it in one sitting. It's possible. I've done it before. Well, I don't know if I've done it before in one sitting, but I've, I've beaten it before. I'm pretty quick with it. Oh, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. It's a, it's a nice, nice day. Well, it's almost night because I woke up at 1 o'clock. <laughs> How are you? How's it going? Isn't it like, it's like, wait, what time is it over there? It's like really early? Like in the wee hours of the day? Or is it like late at night? Am I done? No, I don't want to do that. Stop that. Stop bragging. Oh god. No, no, no. Oh, I just remember this level. <laughs> it's not this part. Ah. Ah, actually, hold on. I can figure this out. <laughs> ah, I'm going down. This is where I'm supposed to go. Hey, boys! Mm hmm. Sorry, I missed you. I'm not gonna leave you alone. Shoot the rocks, shoot the rocks. The rocks! Oh, whatever. Okay, fine! I will do it. <laughs> I gotta do everything. I gotta do everything. Yeah, oh my god, on hard mode? Those Whoa. rocks will just automatically fall when you pass them up. It's unforgiving. The hard mode doesn't care about the sanity. I might do it. Let's see how fast I beat this. I might be able to beat it in one sitting. 
Alright, that needs to go down. Is that considered broken? It's broken now. Hi. Oh god, no! Wait, I only have one life! It's midnight? Oh, wow! That's interesting. Oh, maybe I... Oh god. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if this is too late. I don't know. You never know. I might be on all day, knowing me. You know, I'm usually like up at like four and three. So I might still be on, even if you didn't go to sleep. Oh my god. I know what to do, and I'm still not doing it. <laughs> oh my. That's it. Okay, fine. Alright, guys, we gotta get. We gotta get down. You good? Uh, why don't you have any? What is this? I look like a fool. Midnight. Oh my goodness. Well, yeah. That's not like daylight for me. <laughs> ah, there we go. I'm down here. Hey, guys. Yeah, the big guy's the problem. Stop it. Get the dogs out of the way. They usually grab the ball like it's a toy. It's funny. Oh, no. What? I all right the rage is uh this has potential okay cool hi hi I'm, i've been here before you seen me once oh stop it i'm upset well that's hilarious no die bad doggies come on get the ball get the ball oh come on there you go. I, I didn't have to kill him, but it just felt good. I'll probably be here for half an hour or an hour. I'll be watching you on my phone. And I'll grind on power trying to hit the level 40. <laughs> hey, more power to you. Um, yeah, doing the little um, catching 10 thing helps. I was doing that last night, you know, until I, I died. Uh, I died by freezing to death, by the way. I was in the cold area flying around. And it was fine until it got dark and it got colder and uh, I didn't have the right clothes and I, I froze to death. So, uh, yeah, I'm back in my place in shame, but, uh, <laughs> so I decided, you know, to play something a little more rage intense, you know, just to get that anger out of me. Even though I can just get it back again, but, you know, just the thought of it. I gotta go back to the cold area, which means I have to make a cold outfit to do this. And this game here is just... Nah, it's just, uh... Really doing it for me. Will you stop it? Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to. <laughs> Can I finally get down here? Is that is that possible? Oh, no. Okay, got that one. Yes, oh, it sucked. I thought it was fun. I'm gonna lose it. I'm gonna lose it. This is only like what the fourth, the fifth. This is not even like a real level. It's not, guys. It's a side level. I said beat the game, but oh god, stop! 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 My complaints are gonna get me killed. Hi! No, no, no. Your friends are dead! <laughs> I was almost dead. <laughs> That's like the character in the game! Oh my god. There we go. It was something useful. Okay, come on. I was gonna rush over there, then I forgot about the rocks. I'm glad I didn't. What? Oh my god, my phone! Oh, I forget! Stop it! What is all this random- hold on, what is all this random mail I don't need? There we go. Alright. Oh, oop, well, that worked out. Get 
Did what you gotta do? Did you spit in the mouth? Look at that just falling out of there. All of you, I want you all dead. Which way do I go? Do I go this way? This is what's of the character in the game. Oh, I hate that. I'm like a little mimic. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, God. I'm trying to be funny and almost died. You suck. Yeah. <laughs> Damn, I'm great. Did I have it already? Oh, no. That's so I can respawn my um thingies. Okay. Why did I fall when I hold on? Stay back up. That's that's funny. Ish. This is Cambodium. Oh, I want the wait. No, that's the one time I <laughs> see these these transitions. What is this? Why? So you cover where you got a helicopter flying through the sky? Well, that wasn't my intention. I forget it's the rocket one. Don't kill the man. I need him. Get him. Oh. Mr. T. Mr. T. Yeah. Ah, Chuck Norris. Walker? What's his name? Is his name? Oh, God. Is his name just Walker on the show? I think that. I think it's just Walker. With his rifle. Hi. I think his co-star died. Was it recently? I don't really remember his name. <laughs> recently or last year or a year before that? Uh, I don't know. All the years kind of run together now. They go by so fast. I'll go after the chaos. McLean doesn't get bothered by that stuff. Ah! Oh, oop. Yeah, uh huh. You going? Who down here? What at? The bees! The bees! Don't you die from the bees? Die from the bees! I remember that movie. Okay, whatever. He can live, I guess. <laughs> I didn't trust that dog at all. I don't want this one. I don't want to. This character is just as weird as the movie. I didn't get it. No, no, well, I did get it. I, I kind of got it. I, you know what? I'm gonna I'm, I'm be real. I only watched some of it. <laughs> yeah, you watch some of it. All I know is somebody was cutting people's faces off. Face? Skin? All of it? I don't know if it was the whole body or just like face. I just know somebody's skin was being removed and it was not the people who were like the bad guys. So, okay. Oh, I did say I didn't want him. Hi. Why are you still alive? He broke the bridge. That's fine. I got my um my marker to come back here in case we die. Oh my god. Dirty, Dirty Harry? I don't even know his name. I don't know nothing about Dirty Harry. Except this gun is crazy. He has the best gun. You think it'd be 007, but nah. Oh, okay. He don't well, is that a is that a metaphor? Is that something I don't know about Dirty Harry? <laughs> oh god, Jay, why this gun? Ah! No. You suck. When you supposed to hit that? Stop it! Why are you over there? Oh my god, this gun is wild! My eyes! Okay, okay, stop shooting, stop shooting. I can't think straight. Kill the devil! Oh, he got the oh, man. Well, alright. Wait, he got What? He come out here just to live in a tent? Is that his tent? Yeah, it could be like in a the hotel or something. Something comfortable. Not out with the bugs. Ah! Oh, well. Okay. Checkpoint! In the face, in the face. It's almost like the Expendables at some point. You think Terry Crews would be on here because of the Expendables? Oh, God! He was the gun guy. Jason Statham was the knife man. I saw almost all of the Expendables, by the way. I wanted to understand what was it about this movie that they kept making more of it. Uh, Expendables was, uh, interesting. If I can remember the bad guys out of all of them, then you'll know that I... I didn't watch the newer one, by the way. The one with Megan. Uh, 
the, the uh, machine gun Kelly's girl. I can't think of her name right now. Um, yeah, she's on there. Uh, let's see. Sylvester Stallone was the bomb guy. Jason Statham was the knife man and the coolest one out of the group. Um, Terry built with guns. And on the first one, let's see, some characters kept changing. Except the, oh my god, I can't, I can't say his name right. The one guy from, um, Universal Soldiers. Not G Jean Claude, who was actually the bad guy on the second one? I don't remember the bad guy from the first one. Well, I, don't, I know the bad guy from the first one, I just don't remember his I don't. I don't know his name. I don't know him that well, but I don't, I don't know his name. But I do remember his face. That helps nobody. They went to save a girl who didn't actually be saved. By the way, that uh, that's how that started. What was the second one about? I know the first one had Jet Li. Jet Li in it. Cause he he didn't show up again. I don't think he showed up on the second one. The second one had um. Um, uh, oh, goodness, so why am I doing this to myself? The hints, one of the, uh, Liam Hintzworth? I think it was him. He was on there. Uh, yeah, that was Gene Cloyd. Gene Cloyd group that killed him. I think Chuck Norris showed up on that one. Yeah, he definitely showed up on that one. I'm gonna say he showed up on two of them, and that was one of them. How many is that? Five of them? I know Mel Gibson was the one where Wesley Snipes showed up. He showed up. You know, it's pretty funny. Because uh... <laughs> Terry Crews was out of commission, and I guess Wesley Snipes took his control. I guess you can't have two of the same group kind of taking over, you know? But uh, Wesley Snipes showed up in that one. Um... Who's the Lund... Lundgren? Lundgren... Goodness. He was a bit traitorous in the first one. I can't think of his name. But he was fine after that. He oh, he liked the big gun in Tim. Which makes sense, because I think he can handle him. Oh, he goes Terminator. Oh my god, I hate his gun. I hate his gun. Also, the picture looked a little different than his actual face here. I hate his gun because it pushes you back. Then again, Jay does too. But Jay just creates chaos. This one is for a guy who can handle it. Okay, what happened? I like this one though. This is my favorite on a Schwarzenegger. Oh my god. I could have died! Not being a problem! No, shut up. Um. Who's been on the third one? Oh, the third one! <laughs> I like making fun of the third one. It's all on Mel Gibson, right? No, 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 wait, oh, wait, hold on, I'm trying to think. It kind of runs together. Ah, no, wait, no, goodness, I forgot he puts a bomb on people. No, it's your fault. Um, hold on, I'm trying to think. No, Gibson was the third one, it had to be. Because Wesley Snipes was on that one. But he barely had a, wait, it started off with them saving Wesley Snipes. But then, like, um... Yeah, they saved him, whatever. And Terry Crews out of commission. Because he got shot in the butt, I think, or something. Butt back. One of them. He was fine in the next movie. But, um... What happened in the third one? I think... His crew didn't want to deal with what was going on with that. I don't know. Because he had nothing to do with something they needed. It was more of a personal thing with the other guy. I can't remember. But... Is this Black Hole Sun? I like this. This song is great. I if I'm not used to always hearing. Yeah, black hole sun. Okay, sorry. Um, let's stop it. Oh, oh, I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. I did it on my. I did it on purpose. Not really, but there you go, dirty Harry. Oh God. Um. Yeah, Mel Gibson. So Sylvester Stallone was mad about something. I don't know. So he decided to get a whole new team. The whole movie felt like him and Kelsey Grammer were going around to like find new a new new crew, younger than him, younger than uh, Sylvester. I don't know why he left them because it's it just I don't know. His crew was fine. I don't know. But uh, he left them. He went to go find a whole new crew. 
one of the guys on there is um <laughs> wait who tried to show up wait i just realized <laughs> antonio bandera is one to like join the crew but he was like ah oh, man you're too old because he's lying on his um his resume saying he was a younger guy no he wasn't it was antonio banderas but he was desperado i mean why not you know i wonder if it was a play on that he was uh doing scaffolding stuff anyways um yeah, Mel Gibson was like just. He loved art. He was going around buying art and stuff, so that's. <laughs> that's how he always knew where he was. He was going to buy art in this place or that place. That was his hobby. Um, yeah, one of the guys is on a new team that I know for sure is Emmett from Twilight. And I was like, oh, yeah. And he was the one who had all the questions, by the way. Um, he kept asking, you know, why you need a new team, what happened to your old team, this and that. But the crazy thing about that is they got kidnapped. Oh, guys! I forgot about that! <laughs> I don't know why! Yeah, um... Yeah, the new team got kidnapped, by the way. That didn't make any sense to anybody. Uh-oh. Oh. Didn't make sense to me. Didn't make sense to the team that got kidnapped. They all got kidnapped. It was it was weird. I'm like, what is it? What is this? What is happening? Everybody gets kidnapped. They got kidnapped. Was there a fourth one? I don't remember the. Is there a fourth one? Is there? Who was the bad guy in the fourth one? I thought Chuck Norris showed up in the second one, but didn't he show up again? The fourth one can't be the new one. There's five in total, right? Does anybody know? Double tap direction to dash. Ah! Oh, God. Yeah, test me on that. God, that sucked. Well, I can't think of it. Anyways, um, Jason Statham's the cool one. Oh, shut up. Snitch. Um, <laughs> I don't know. It's weird. Anyway, Expendables. Yep. That was the movies. Um, Sebastian Stallone was like the guy who just didn't want to like settle down, but mm -mm. he like always wanted to stay in the fight. I get it. You know, you like something, you want to keep doing it, you know? But everybody else was like, you know, got families and such, and he was the only, he was like the, the one friend who just never... Oh, God, I'm gonna die. Thank you, Baracus. Oh, no, no, wait, 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 oh, God, it's this one. Oh, no. No, 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 no. <laughs> Oh god, stress inducing. Oh, this one sucks too. Oh, I didn't jump. Oh, here we go with RNG. <laughs> what are you yelling for? What are the movies I can talk about? Anybody ever ever heard of Surf Ninjas? Or am I just uh, an old 90s kid? Ah! Who only knows Surf Ninjas alone? What's wrong with you? It's so hard to get back here. Okay. Oh, this is right. Wait, yours is a. Oh, that doesn't help me. McLean, why? Well, I can talk about McLean. I can talk about some Bruce Willis, my favorite Bruce Willis movies. Um. Multi Pass, uh, Fifth Element, which is my favorite. My favorite one from my childhood. I love, uh, Bruce Willis movie. That's the one movie where Mala Jovovich is not playing a Resident Evil character. <laughs> and she's not a damsel in the stress either. Well, not really. If anything, um... She was... Her character was created from some, um, alien technology. But also, like, part of a prophecy. Um, it was... This one blow was... Should I tell the movie? <laughs> It's been so many years, I don't think it matters. Uh, yeah, she was born from this glove, from this ancient prophecy of somebody coming to save or save the world or whatever. Um, so she has a character. She has carrot, uh, orange colored hair. And I thought that was pretty cool for a story that wasn't based off anything really... I don't know if it was considered cyberpunk, but it has some very cool elements of like cars flying in the sky and like, you know, at the drive through getting food at McDonald's. I thought that was pretty cool. I don't know if I've ever seen a movie. Did I not watch enough movies like that? Or is there like no other movie that really done like just cool little tidbits of things like that? I don't know. There's some good music in there. 
Anyway, John McClain, retired officer of something, something big corporation, blah, blah, blah. He just want to chill and be home. But then, oh, they're like, hey, dude, we need your help with this big thing that's about to happen. He's like, oh, man, I don't want to be bothered with that. But earlier, while he was doing a taxi drive, the Mila Jovovich character, who escaped from the facility that pretty much brought her, who made her inhuman or whatever, um, she just, she just, she just left. She has a, like a perception of some sort, I don't know. But she can tell when something ain't right. Um. Uh, oh, God, are you kidding me? It's not even hard mode. But uh, yeah, I don't know. I mean, I'm, I'm dead. well. Anyways, oh, come on. I seen this already. French. Oh my God! I just realized he massacred just regular people. What is this Robocop three? What is happening? Get a blade. I can tell you a blade story. No, I gotta finish it with fifth element. So, uh, <laughs> fifth element. Uh, let me sum up fifth element. John McClane, um, he does the mission because, um, he realized orange haired girl is part of it because, um, there's a priest that is who knows the prophecy and stuff and he talks to the, the president and stuff and everything. He tells them about it and all. So she is sought out, you know, she gets hurt. He brings her to the priest. Um, McLean brings the girl to the priest after she falls into his cab from the sky, by the way. She just yeeted off of a building and fell right into his cab. Like, from the roof, broken and all. Join me! In arms! You're gonna die, aren't you? Why can you do it? I can do it! <laughs> That's not fair! <laughs> no, I'm fine! I bleed! Terminator! I can't be hurt! Oh wait, wait, I'm gonna kill everybody with this. Um, yeah, so he went to the priest. Lo and behold, the priest tell him that she is a, the prophecy. Well, he didn't really tell her. Tell him that, that she's the girl of the prophecy or whatever. I was hoping they wouldn't just die. Oh, no, 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 no. Wait, you're okay? You need to go. You need to leave. Okay. Um... So, he didn't want McLean to know how great she was. Which, they almost shared a kiss at one point, right? And, uh, she got upset. She put a gun to his head like, Hey, man, I don't know you. That was pretty much that. Anyways, um, the priest knocks McLean in the back of the head and knocks him out. Which, I, you know, in my in hindsight, I think he would have been dead. Because I think any blow to the back of the head that caused you to bleed. He didn't bleed, so he was fine. I guess that's why he lived. Why do you take three years to shoot? Murphy! I know all these characters. Murphy, why did you take... All right, back to Sylvester Stallone. You know, I sometimes get this mixed up with, like, Hot Shots, which is the comedy version of most of these movies. And Charlie Sheen is the guy with the red bandana on his head. He's the Rambo. I killed your guy! Bye! Um... So yeah, back to being pistol whipped in the back of the head. No, he didn't get pistol whipped. He got hit with like a trophy or something because the priest is like a very benevolent guy and you know, like priests are supposed to be. Yeah, he knocked him in the back of the head with a trophy. And he took, oh girl, oh girl, uh, her, her name is Leela. Is this confusing enough? Hey, the bombs, that's the same bombs that um, Sylvester Stallone used on Expendables. The man love bombs. I don't know what his problem is. That's his favorite thing though. Why you look smaller than the other big guy? Um, yeah, so, uh, so, well, he hit him in the back of the head eventually after she got better, after, you know, they took care of it. He came back and saw him, um, after the people came to, like, you know, offer him the, hey, come do this mission, he was like, no, because they, um, there's this sweepstakes that they pretty much penciled him in to win. So he can do the mission. So they have to, you know, make it seem like a normal, you know, undercover kind of mission. He can't just be like, oh, I'm a cop. I'm coming over here to um, do this thing. And also, uh, Bruce Willis played a lot of cops. The one time he didn't, I was like, this is different. Wait, was that a cop in red? Off topic. Anyways, he was like, no. And then, you know, he tried to hide it from the priest. And, okay, well, all right. Well, okay. Anyways, he tried to hide it from the priest or whatever. All right, because they came by. Because the priest had a, was, you know, cooking up a plan. That was the, I'm talking about before he got hit in the head, by the way. And why he got hit in the head. He found out that, uh... Oh, God! 
after talking to the president or whatever, he realized they need to go get the, the stones or something. And they're gonna be there's a, there's a person who has what they need. They need they need stones to save the world. Okay, they're looking for four stones. McLean doesn't know anything about this or whatever. The priest does though. Um, apparently it's on this ship. Um, uh, like prophecy foretold or some bull like that. Um, <laughs> I'm trying to I'm trying to think and shoot. Uh -oh. Really? I can shoot brick? I'm the Terminator! I came back in time. You think I can't shoot brick? Oh god! No! 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 Too much! Oh, my ship! Sorry, I'm not Nina Jones. Sorry. Well, that's not even Nina Jones. Just the Harrison Ford in general. Alright, I think it's plain, actually. I should go look that up and see if that's correct. I didn't watch all the Indiana Jones, but I watched enough of them. Anyways, I didn't even get here yet. Was this the weekend? No. That's not. That, hold on, let me change the song. Cause <laughs> all I'm thinking in my head. Uh, that song is fine. And so, uh. Yeah, so anyways, pistol whip him in the head. Um they take um they take his pass. Because uh his pass is how he get in for the sweepstakes or whatever. Or oh wait, did he have two ways to get onto the ship? Yeah, because he won the sweepstakes or whatever. Anyways. Um the paper that the guys had that wanted to commission for the job, that that paper was for him to do the job. In the instructions, but he actually they made it so he, no he actually just no wait uh, sorry I'm mixing it up so the paper they had was uh, the papers to do the job as whatever the cop or whatever he is in his job but he actually won the sweepstakes like literally just won the sweepstakes or maybe that was a backup in case he didn't take it I don't know they're trying to just get this man on this I don't know I guess he's great at what he does they really love him uh, he got fired from his taxi job too. He he just he just can't do a regular life, you know. Oh, okay, sir. Why would I go up? Um. Okay, Dirty Harry, help me out. I know nothing about Dirty Harry. If anybody want to fill me in on that one, I don't know nothing. I know Chuck Norris though. Kick to the face. Stop it. What's that sound? Dog? Huh. Oh god. Oh boy. How dare you? I got bombs too. The mines are worse than yours. America! Uh, yeah. So, you know what? Fast forward. Well, hold on. I gotta bring up this part. The part where. The funny part where he's actually. Okay. There's another, there's a bad guy, right? Um, he's a commissioner from Dark Knight. I, I, I can't think of other movies where he's not, uh, where he's the commissioner, the, the, the one that helps Batman on Dark Knight, the commissioner, right? Detective, commissioner, whatever. The one that's always helping him. The one from the Dark, the Dark, Batman, the Dark Knight, uh, Batman movie. That specific one. Um, he is the bad guy in this movie or yeah he's, he's technically the antagonist in this movie he knows the priest he knows the priest um about the stones and everything he knows about the prophecy as well but he's working for somebody else which you come to find out is the real bad guys which is the ancient um alien group that is also looking for the stones and they're the main ones we're trying to keep the stones away from because they destroy planets and stuff they suck So, uh, yeah, so he's trying to get on the ship. The priest is trying to get on the ship. The, the America is trying to get the, uh, the ship. Everybody's trying to get on the ship, okay? The ship, it just, it's, it's going to have the stones. It just has to, right? It's in a box or something. I don't know. Anyways, um, so here we are getting to the party, trying to get on the ship. The bad guy sends these to, um... But no, God, it's like, yeah, so even the alien guys are trying to go on the ship too. But they can, like, um, morph into, like, humans. 
you know, temporarily. Temporarily do it. I don't know. I don't know what it takes. Willpower? I don't know. They, they're, very, they're very aggressive. So I guess whenever they lose composure, they kind of turn back. But if you stay calm, you can look like whoever you want or whatever um, illusion you're trying to keep. All right, hold on, dude. Why are you running? What are you scared of? Fire? You should be. All right, that's going to break. Um... Well, come on! Alright, um... So yeah, at the little podium, or, um... Area where he's supposed to... What is this song? My god. Why is that thing stopping me? I don't want to hear Michael Buble. Uh... Ooh, the kill. I listen to Morbius. Um... So, the podium where you check in for the... The vacation or whatever. There are four separate groups trying to get on there, and I think it's funny. So, like, all right, first we got the priest people. They come in. Um, the priest has, like, a, a protege who is a, a very timid uh, type. Uh, he's, 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 he's very, uh, he's young, okay? He's young. He's young. He's a warrior. Anyways, he is posing as Corbin Dallas. With Corbin Dallas has passed. I don't know if they don't have their face on there or not. I think it's just their name or whatever. But he's trying to use um, Corbin Dallas' pass. That's why he took it. To get on the ship in his name. You know, to do the mission. I don't know why. He, well, he sent him because um, <laughs> the priest is too old to be Corbin Dallas. You know, it'd be weird. He's like, you're too old to be with this young, beautiful woman with orange hair. How, how even? You know? And he's a priest, so that'd be like a lot of questions. They're trying to do this, you know. Anyways, um, while checking in, um, little did they know, Corbin Dallas was aware of this, and he interferes, and he gets his pass back. And, you know, he doesn't kill anybody. He just, scared, the guy's too scared. He just, like, just kind of, you know, brush him off as, ah, I got here, you know. Oh my god, Harrison Ford. Indiana Jones! I got a whip and a gun. Whip you in a shape. Um, <coughs> my soul. Um, where was I? Yeah, Corbin Dallas. Corbin Dallas, so he literally gets in with his own path. Yeah, and poses as a uh, Lilu, who is Mila Jovovich character, the orange hair. Um, as his wife. Yeah, it's just, you know, just to get in. Um, Corbin is kind of aware of what's going on. I think he read, I think it was part of a mission statement or something. Probably? I don't know exactly if the president would actually mention. Also, the president is Debo. Do you know who Debo is? Debo from Friday? He's the president. We had a, we had a black president in a movie. I don't know if we have anyone earlier, but that's the one I remember. And I mean, if he was president, who, who's gonna check him, you know? It's Debo. Who, who would check Debo? You gotta be insane. Anyways. <laughs> That's funny. Anyway, so Corbin Dallas is in, right? He's checked in. He can't check in again at all. Well, here goes the other groups trying to get in. So the priest and Corbin Dallas. That's the two that, the group that went already. So Corbin got in and the priest realizes, oh no, um, my little protege couldn't get in. Uh, why did I send you in the first place? And he's like, I'm saying the same thing. Why did you send me? Anyways, he had to get on the ship some kind of way. So he ended up like getting in the airplane like equipment and such. It was a, uh, it was wild. Crazy he didn't die. Like up there in the wires and stuff. I get a, the wire room or something. I don't know. Anyway, so he found his way in. DJ, you just need to go there. So we never see Protege again. Not that it was that important, but nope, never again. Because <laughs> we're now we're gonna be on the ship. Okay, the other groups that try to get on the 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 uh, get in with Corbin Dallas's information, it didn't work out. So uh, next we have the alien group. We tried to get in. Um, they didn't even look like Corbin Dallas, by the way. They, oh, I guess they, they don't know what he looked like. That's, uh, that's the one thing. They definitely don't know what he looked like. So they try to get in. He said, no, Corbin Dallas already checked in. You gotta go. 
And then one of the um, alien dudes started to transform back because he was like coughing up and his face kind of changed like a split second. The woman was looking like, oh God, what is wrong with you? And it was like, all right, we gotta go. So they bailed. And then like, um, didn't one of the aliens, oh, they started being followed by like security or something. Oh, why do I even, I don't need to kill him. They said it being followed by security, and on the way out, um, so, funny thing about this movie, in the back, like, of, like, the scene, of this scene, there's just, like, a mountain of garbage, which, I'm like, this is definitely cyberpunk. This is a mountain of garbage, that's the reality of cyberpunk. Just trash, it's just chaos, it's dirty, it's whatever. Um... Yeah, so one of the guys, when they bailed, one of them jumped in the trash, the other one pulled out a, a friggin' a, some kind of machine gun such, and just started blasting, and then jumped in the garbage as well. I don't know if that was supposed to be a big thing or at all, but it, it there it went. Anyways, that's over. Then the last guy that went, so he's a hen the last guy that tried to get in, he was a henchman. I want that! Okay, cool. Yeah, he was a henchman of the bad guy, the last dude that went, and uh, he really tried to convince the Corbin Dallas, and she was like, I am so tired of this. <laughs> and she just like, close the booth. It was done. And the guy got really aggressive, and he hit the, sc the, the screen and all that, and yeah. So he never got in. And when he told it, come on now, calm down. When he told the boss he didn't get in, he was, he was upset with him, and he just blew him up. So uh, that was funny. Uh, three different groups tried to get in with the same name, and only one came out victorious. The, the actual one. Anyways, so after <laughs> the greatest thing after this is when you know Ruby Rock comes in. You know Chris Tucker and the one outfit you'll never see him wear ever again. It's iconic because we never will see him wear an outfit like that ever again. <laughs> It's a, a a great part of um, movie history that will stay with me for the rest of my life. I don't have any more boost. Oh, God, yeah. Okay, Blade doesn't need it, but I guess we use it. Just get across. Just get across. Just get across. Just get across. Kill him. He sucks. He also sucks. All right. Okay, I don't need it anymore. I don't need it. Get out of it. Yeah, okay. So, run the ship. Ruby Rock does his whole little spiel. Bruce Willis ain't playing no games. He's like, I ain't here to mess around. I'm just here to do my job. And Ruby's like, man, you, I'm doing a show. You're messing me up. Why does that look like that at the end? Anyways, um, you, you, you know, I'm trying to do a show. You got to put a little life in it. You know, you got to be more, you know, you know, do something. And he chokes him, it's like, hey man, I'm, I'm not here to play game, I'm just here to do a job, you get me? He's like, alright, yeah, man, whatever, alright, cool, whatever, cool, alright. Ruby Rock, greatest character in the whole movie, by the way. Um, moving forward, we're in a, a place, um, between this, there's a character girl for Lilu, right? Before she was just like lost, didn't know what was going on. She actually looked at the internet to figure out, you know, what this world was. Cause remember, she was born out of a, she's, a, she's technically an alien device that was born to a human. Um, and she knows that she's a prophetic thing. She's not like, oh, I don't know what I am. She doesn't have amnesia. She knows what she is and what her job is. Her thing was, you know, is it even worth it in a sense? Um, you know, in, in hindsight. All right, Andy. Here we are doing this. A lot of bullets. All right, I need to get up there, though. Ah, that's the big, um... All right, go back where we were. I don't have to be here. <laughs> yeah, so... Yeah. And, uh, McLean, Bruce Willis' character, starts to see that she is, a. Uh... Oh, God! Oh, okay, I'm fine. Yeah, starts to see that, you know... You know, she said, you know, he's like, oh, I'm here to protect you, and he's like, no, I'm here to protect you! And he's like, what? You know, he had a face like what? He didn't say what. That's not his character. His character doesn't say stuff like that. That's Chris... That's a Ruby Rock. Oh god. And uh, those things apparently. Get out of my face! 
Please! Move! Oh, you mother! Hold on, let me... Let me, uh... Yeah, anyways, Red Paradise, for some reason, she decides to go ahead and, like, get get there before him. I guess she was just very curious, like a, you know, like a... Like a teenage daughter who just wants to be out, you know, just just live a little. Not any kind of child, actually. It doesn't have to be a teenage daughter. Any kind of kid who just wants to be out and kind of learn it. You know, it's, it's a it's a vacation paradise, but she's also working, you know. So she's talking about, you know, she's kind of searching for something. We don't know what exactly. There's supposed to be a case. Um. Oh God. God damn it! Harry. Yeah, it's supposed to be a case full of stones, right? Four stones that they need. Exactly four. So, Lilu knows that there's supposed to be somebody there to do it, and come to find out, it's the, the blue lady. She was supposed to meet the blue lady. I don't know if anybody watched the movie. There's this blue lady who's very good at opera singing. She's the main event at the opera show later, and also Bruce Willis's character loves opera. Which is a, I think it's a common thing for him. Not if he really likes opera in real life, because I feel like that's something common that happens a lot. He likes things like that. I think that's pretty cool. Anyways, um, get out! Get off now. Get out! Just get off now. Oh god, hold on. I gotta be careful with this. Uh oh. No, kill him! No, he's dead! Oh, he's fine. Wait, what? What? How? Wait, is this? I don't want this again! Whoa, whoa. My gun's bigger than yours! Bigger than yours! Um, oh god, great. Great, I'm gonna die. Oh god! I was gonna die from stupidity in a minute. I don't need to worry about that. Oh, okay, I need to worry about that, though. I'm just upset. I don't have to be here. I don't have to be here at all. Shut up. Get out! Oh, yeah, uh... That's the opera. And then there's the most iconic singing part of this whole thing next to Ruby Rock. Stop shooting my man! Uh... Uh, come on now. Yeah, so after the beautiful opera song, the blue lady singing, I'm not gonna sing the song. You're not, you can't make me. Uh, <laughs> you wanna hear some glass shatter? Um, so to end the show, she gets shot in the belly. That's, <laughs> that's, how, you, that's how you end the opera um, number, right? She gets shot in the belly. She falls. Women scream, because women always scream when somebody gets shot. Oh my god! She gets shot in the belly. Boom. Um. Ah, stop it! Stop it! Do my hands! Yeah, we're not going that way. Where did you come in? Who are you? I don't know who you are. You must have been a move I didn't see. I don't know why your mom is a uh, security weaver. Um, because you're definitely not her. With a different face. Shut up! Oh, god dang it. No, I can still get you! Get out! I'm not gonna waste my boost on nothing. Oh my god, come on. I'm missing a body. Oh man. Fine. Oh god. Get down! Get down, Blade! <laughs> also, I, I, I still... I'm gonna go watch Demolition Man. Oh, oh uh, yeah. Uh, Blue Lady gets shot in the belly. It's chaos. The aliens, they're there. Uh, one of them has posed as one of the waiters that was in the theater, so... Oh god. Why do we even need this? I'm done! Oops. My bad! <laughs> I thought he was gonna leave me! No, I'm not gonna sing it! <laughs> I'm not gonna sing it! No! <laughs> I'm gonna sound terrible! I know I am. I might sound good in person, but I sound terrible over on the mic. Oh no, we're not, we're not gonna do that. No, 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 no. <laughs> it might be a sub goal one day, we'll see.
I, I would definitely sing it for a sub goal. That'd be so fun. I like I like singing things, whether it's good or bad, that, on, on my part. But uh, no, not today. Not today. I'll spare you that. I got more movies I want to talk about. But uh, yeah, <laughs> she gets shot in the belly. All right, now we gotta shoot out in the upper area. Um, um, how can I fast forward this part? Um, Bruce Willis lives. Okay. Um, he saved Ruby Rock too. Then it comes a part where they have to like, um, oh god. Oh, Lilo is so. Lilo wasn't at the opera. She was waiting to talk to the blue lady, but she wasn't there. And she, um, her subordinates or whatever were in the room. Oh, God. Just like, you know, in the room waiting for her to come back from doing opera and stuff. The blue lady people. Um, oh, dang it. Waiting for her to come back from opera. But then the, the you know, the bad aliens came and like, shot him up. Cause they're looking for the- you remember, they're, they're also looking for the chest. <laughs> but I just came in for the singing. No! <laughs> I'm not doing the singing! <laughs> I can't! I can't! I might get, uh, I might get banned for, uh, terrible singing. Come on! <laughs> Why are you tempting me? Stop it! Stop it! I can't do the singing. I gotta finish this. I gotta finish this. Oh, oh my god, Neo. How skinny is his body? Oh, what is that? Is he wearing red pants? Wait, no, Mr. Anderson. That's Neo. Wait. Yeah, that's right? Yeah, that's Neo. See, his picture's different. <laughs> Look, I would sing it. It's just, not, to, not today. Not today. Not today. <laughs> I gotta get the words right, too. You just, just, you know, just make noise, you know. Opera. You can kind of just make noise. Neil, get out! Kick him! Kill him! Punch him! Smack him! We don't have- Oh, God! Why did you do that? All right, now. I'm pretty sure I wouldn't get banned, but it was just- It would just be funny if I did. I'm like, ah, oh, come on. My singing's not that bad. Although... <laughs> I oh come on oh come on don't do that to Bruce Willis. I'm, I'm talking about his movie. Oh god, what are they crying about? Shut up! It's like he threw a glass at somebody because he didn't want to shut up or something. That's a uh, very dramatic. Die! What is happening? Oh my god, not me! You guys suck. I'm out. I'm out. <laughs> oh no. Stealth tank! Is this the one that I have to push to the edge? No, 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 it was somebody else with that one. Okay. What's happening? Oh, there's a person in there. He had a suit. Alright, I know how to get through with this. Watch me, uh. Figure this one out. You stuck! Oh god, that's not fair! Alright, okay. Blade, let's do this. Why am I so far away? There we go. Oh god. I mean... <laughs> it was a thought. Shut up! I think I turned it on, actually. Well, bye, dude. Sounds like a you problem, you know? But, uh, yeah. Um, fight, everything, blah, blah, blah. The aliens, yeah. Okay, yeah, they invaded the, 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 the blue lady's dressing room and killed her people. Lilo saw it. She got upset because, remember, she watched the internet. <laughs> I don't know if she was there or if it's from her, you know, what she remembers about herself or I don't know how to, how, I'm assuming the internet told her that they blew up her people. Because there's these other ancient guys, you know, they're at war or whatever from back in the day. But they help. Oh, man, come on. Come, oh, I can cheat with this one. Hold on. Let me let me do my thing. Not really cheat. He's invincible when he's Terminator. Oh, my God. Get out there. I'm done. I'm out of here. I'm done. Don't kill me here. That would have been so messed up. Get out. Oh, whatever. Robo can't jump, but he can shoot. Oh, you see. I'll do a singing one day. One day I'll do a singing, I promise. I will- Oh my god, I promise. I promise now I gotta do the singing. Oh my god. Oh no. 
I don't know if I can promise. I'll, I'll do my best. I'll do my best. I'll do my best. I don't know if it'll be the whole thing, but I will give it a shot. I might sing it with her. That way I don't feel so self-conscious. But it is great. <laughs> what? Oh, God. Could I, wait, can I kill myself with that? I probably could, right? Shut up! Get out of here! Ooh. <laughs> oh, yeah. So, Lilo decided to handle it. And it's crazy, because around this time she's fighting, that's when the lady's actually singing. So, it's... Uh, so she's singing <laughs> while the blue lady is singing um Lilo is fighting them and it's kind of going with the um the fight scene that's pretty cool but at some point the other bad guy the one that works for the for the big dude you know the guy that's the commissioner for um god I don't know his name I'm sorry I'm just telling the rich guy the guy who owns a business and is rich him that bad guy not the aliens um, he kind of shoots up Lilu because the case is in there. They have the case. And, uh, yeah, he takes it and she's all shot up in the ceiling, hurt, or whatever. And she kind of stays there for a minute. Just then, you know, and he gets away with it. He actually makes it to, back to his ship, thinking he won and everything. He opens the chest and there's nothing in it. There's no stones or anything. He laughs from like, you know, ha, oh, this is hilarious, and then like to worry, because you know if he doesn't have it, he's gonna die. Said Pinky promise, so you sit back at the time. No! <laughs> oh, the things I do to myself. <laughs> I'll make it a goal at some point, but I'll, I'll definitely do it. Actually, I'll happily do it. I'll be, I'll be fun. I'll be a bucket list thing. Seeing in public. Ish. Public-ish, you know? Sing in public. Bad dog. Um. <laughs> I like the bunny. The little bunny emo is adorable. You guys are idiots. Oh, I thought I had to do it. Alright, cool. It's so rainy. No, mind your business. Stop it. Oh my god, really? Uh, that's what I said! <laughs> that's what I said! Yeah, cool, perfect. Well, it's, uh... So it's, it's been, it's been, it's, it's been foretold! Oh, come on! I should just throw the turkey! I'm gonna just throw the turkey! They gave me a turkey anyway! Oh, you... What made you want to shoot? Because you heard boxes break? He was already in shoot mode. Okay, I did it to myself. Oh, dang it! You're all gonna die for the turkey? Turkey ain't that good. Why well, I say turkey up at a KFC? The one thing I like at KFC is the potato wedges and the biscuits. So why did that come up? Anyways, um, so let's see. Let's fast forward the movie. Blah, blah, blah. So you find out the stones, right? They were inside the blue lady the whole time, which is pretty morbid and cool and a good way to hide something, you know? Just put it in your belly. And that's what she did. She hit him there. Um, ironically, she got shot in the belly, so uh, it was easy access for McQueen to get it because she wanted him to, she wanted him to um, take the stones because she knew, she knew her destiny. <laughs> I don't know why I brought up KFC. I've had KFC in so long. I just know I don't have one around me. And it's, it's 30 minutes away to go to one. And I, uh, come on now, I don't crave KFC like that. If anything, I crave Taco Bell, which is down the street. Much closer. All right, see, crate. You didn't yell it. You're supposed to yell that. Okay, you can't even see, you can't even see MacGyver. You see this? You see this? This craziness is happening on the screen. Okay, there he goes. Goodness, where am I supposed to go? Oh, number six. I don't have a five. Oh, look at crate. Oh, I get those special things I'm never gonna- Mookla? Mookgola? Alright. Oh my god. What's with you in this helicopter scene you don't want to show? But yeah, so he- so Bruce Willis is like, uh, 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 he's like, what? What are you talking about? You're crazy. You're insane. Yeah, um, uh-oh. Oh god. Oh, sorry. I thought I fell. Ah, I'm so- I'm such a gamer! In your face. 
So like, um, he takes all four of the stones out of her belly. Actually, no, not yet. Um, he has to grab, he has to like move her body around first because the guys are just constantly shooting. Oh God, the snakes. Not the snakes! Okay, not that snake. All right. Come on. Come on, Indy. Indy. These rocks fall a lot. Ah, wait, wait. Oh, God. <laughs> I hate it. I hate it. All right, that's an easy one. I still hate it. Doesn't this place fall apart? Or is it not this one? Oh, God. <laughs> wait, am I supposed to go down? No, I'm not. Am I? No. Okay, God, I'm gonna get some stupid. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna get my seat. Uh, hi. What's this music? Oh, God, I'm an idiot. Oh, I'm an idiot. <laughs> Okay, so like, yeah, he um has to move her body around because the aliens are there now. Now they're like blowing up stuff and blowing things around. And hey, look, Ruby Rock. Oh, Ruby Rock is at the opera, by the way. He was, he was still doing his podcast. Man, you swear, streaming. Streaming in 19, whatever, was it 98 or something? He was streaming on his, uh, well, the, the, the movie's not 98, but you know. Wait, no, not the, the movie said whatever time frame that is. They didn't really specify that, I don't think. What is this move? Yeah. Oh, I throw out, uh, okay. What's that? I'm throwing out res? What is that? Oh, hey! I wonder what that noise oh, okay. Do we just blow up every place we leave? Golden flex. He not, he's not yelling it. Okay, whatever. All right. <laughs> those are not good. Wait, there's two more. Hold on, let me go find those. I think they're all indie related for some reason. <sighs> not you. There's another one. Is it down here? That's not it. Where's the other two? You're holding out on me. There's two more. There's usually one here, right? You're only gonna show me one? This is America. Hey, look <laughs> that's not where that's supposed to go. That's supposed to go up here, right? I don't know where Alaska would be. Is that supposed to be Hawaii? Okay, well, number six. And I show me the other ones. All right, number six, we go. Anyways, Ruby Rock, they got he takes the things out of her belly. They gotta fight the aliens. Blah blah blah. They kind of get away. They um. Then uh, the blue lady for some reason knew that. Well, well no, she just mentioned he needed to help Lilu. And he's like, uh, okay, and kind of like I was gonna do that anyway, and you know, kind of face, because you know he doesn't talk much. He's more of a listener than a talker. Kind of like the rip. That was a weird sound. <laughs> Just stab the pig. <laughs> that looks terrible. Oh, hey! Help me! Oh, okay. Did you have to die? Oh, you didn't die. You just passed out. Don't die all of a sudden! I believe in you, I'm Robocop. I'm Murphy. I died and came back, apparently. Oh, back to the thing. So. Eh. Um. Pretty much you can fast forward. Um. So the the the, uh, the bad guy dude, the rich bad guy guy, he uh decided to go back and try to deal with the thing, but the aliens were like they're they're poor sports. So when they're like you know when they fail, they tend to like they want to they they drop the bomb to blow up the ship since they they failed their mission or whatever. It's a bit uh dramatic, but yeah, that's what they decided to do. I don't know what it is, just leave. Um, so they dropped the they set up a bomb. Then the whole ship about to blow. It's gonna blow. Um Wait, no 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 no. The evil guy wanted to put a you know, since everybody left and everything is gone. He wanted to put a he, he had put a bomb before he left. I forgot about that. But he came back and stopped it. Everybody already was leaving the ship and stuff. And, you know, when he stopped it, like right at like was it like five two seconds or something i don't know one of those numbers they look alike um upside down i guess um so he stopped it but then like the poor sports of the alien group they just like 
They had their own bomb, and he couldn't stop that one, so he died, and the alien the other guy died, so. Now it's just the test of time. Oh, also, this is, there's, there, so I kept saying save the world, right? There's this big old huge planet-sized meteor coming straight for the Earth, like, Earth in general. You want a one man to find some stones to help bring about this ancient thing so this whole place doesn't blow up? What? So that was that, that was that. I forgot about that. Um, I kind of forget that sometimes. I'm like, oh, he's just trying to find stones, but I forget it's to save them from this big old huge planet-sized meteor that's coming. And that, that's what's happening. I'm probably, you're probably confused about what I'm talking about. I'm just going back and forth. <laughs> but I'll continue. So here we are. Four stones. We're at the place we're supposed to be. Um, Lila was kind of messed up. Um, she kind of hurt and messed up and exhausted and tired and, like, not convinced at this point. So, you know, they find out the four stones uses four elements. Earth, wind, um... Earth, wind, water, and fire. The four elements. Um. So, who did it? The young guy, he used the wind. Oh, we don't see him again. Sorry, I thought I just act like he died off. He came back. He used wind. I like this song. The Coldplay song. Uh, come on! He uses... I thought I died. So, he uses wind to open up the wind one. Um, the, the priest used his sweat, which is disgusting, but also, um, you know, trying times, you do what you gotta do. He used his sweat. <laughs> and so, Ruby, who all of a sudden decided to, like, stop smoking, um, didn't have fire. Um, oh, Bruce used Earth, by the way. That was the easiest one. Because there was an, an old tomb, and usually those tombs have sand. They had sand there, so. Tomb? It had a front door. It wasn't like a place where deep down in the ground. It had a front door, and it was just close. Like a regular s stone place with a door. I don't know how to explain that. Don't shoot me! Okay. Um. The Boondock Oh my god, Boondock Saints! All I know is one of them is Norman Reedus. That's all I know. <laughs> no, Marita's. Wasn't there? I watched part of this movie. Wasn't there beef? Was. Well, they did stuff for the church, right? I don't know if they have a brother that died in the movie. I just didn't understand their reason for a lot of things. It was. But, it, but like, not understanding that doesn't mean it was a bad movie. I enjoyed not knowing. Yeah, it was. I don't know. It was fun for me. I like. When, uh, you know, uh, yeah, uh, sorry, getting off subject. Um, hey, Neo. Oh, no, Mr. No Guns here. Yeah, you need a man. He don't need guns! Uh, right now. He dodged bullets. He's the reason one it was even created. Get out! I don't need this. He's the reason one it exists! Uh, come on. Almost said waiting. I'm like, wait, no, that's a... That's a Jake, uh, that's a Jake Long movie. That's a different premise. Death becomes you! All of you. I thought that was something to blow up. Sorry, I was afraid. So, um, last, the, the one element, the fourth element, um, so, yeah, um, so Ruby didn't smoke anymore. I mean, he didn't have any fire for the fire part, and that was a very crucial moment because um, they need they need these things to activate. Oh no! <laughs> oh no! Off the war. The man had a family. Remember, I said had a family. There he goes. You had, you know, you weren't going back, dude. You put on that suit. You know who was up. Oh, God. oh thank you, the invincibility for two seconds. 
no, 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 get, get, get. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Thank you for that. Thank you for that! I'm gonna die! Oh, I'm fine. But yeah, so, um, Bruce Willis, who is a... I think all of it, I swear all of his characters have, a, like, a, a thing of matches. He doesn't even smoke. Wait, does he smoke in... Did he smoke? He smokes... A lot of his characters kind of smoke. Um, or a few of them. I don't know if McLean... I don't know if McLean smoked. Okay. Oh, apparently Corbin Dallas did. All right, he just got like matches. So at the sweepstakes thing, he had a hotel. So he ended up with some like some hotel matches, and he had one little match, which I thought was already burnt because the stick was already black. So I was like, um, isn't this already used? <laughs> but he had one. So they like very steadily tried to put the fire out and lit the last one. And I was like, okay, cool. Now Lila was supposed to do something. I didn't know what it was. He was like, Lilo, come on, we can, come on, let's do this. He's like, nah, nah, I'm good. And he's like, wait, whoa, what's going on? Come on, you gotta wake up. And he's like, she's like half dead, because, you know, remember, she's hurt, and she's kind of like bleeding out and exhausted. So, <laughs> I don't know why nobody gave her any attention for medical or anything. Then again, if she was Mila Jovovich from Resident Evil, uh, she would've been fine. I would've been a flesh wound. No, she's really messed up. So, trying to explain to her, hey, we need you to save the world, it's time to save the world. She's like, why bother? Everything sucks. She saw all the war and stuff, and now she's like, nah, I don't want to save this world. What's the point of saving this world? This world doesn't even care about itself. She's like, no, there's beautiful things in this world. You know, it's cool things. And she's like, what are you talking about? I don't, I don't know what you're talking about. She's like, yeah, it's cool things, like love. She's like, ah, I don't know what love is. He's like, I'll show you, uh, I forgot what he says. Something about beautiful things or something. And he kisses her. And it's like seconds, seconds later. Well, this time he gave her permission. She gave him permission to kiss her, I think. <laughs> Last, remember that the first time he put, she put a gun to his head. Now she has, he has permission to kiss her. Then he kisses her and whatever, and like you know, time is getting short. Um, um President Devo is like uh, sweating bullets. It's uh, it's getting, it's getting, it's getting crazy. And uh, all of a sudden, this beam of light comes from her chest which is kind of foreshadowed um the coffin i forgot where there's this statue that actually shows a character kind of looking straight up while standing he was holding her while she um you know the whole beam of light came from her from inside of her by the way the beam of light came she's the fifth element if you didn't get that she's the fifth element which is love which makes sense there's usually something that you know humans do it would love to hear more. <laughs> oh, have a, oh, have a good night, Polar Bear. Thank you for listening. I, I hope, I hope, I don't know if you've seen Fifth Element, but I hope um, any of it made sense. Oh God, this guy. He reminds me of the one guy from the, the Universal Soldiers. Oh my God, I don't know his name exactly. Why could I hit him this close? Oh yeah, I forget. I'm not supposed to kill him. This is the guy. But yeah, have a good night. I know it's like I know I know it's late over there. I get it. I might still be here. I might not. We'll see. Come on! I can't. I can't move again. Come on, you idiot! Come on! Do I have to kill you again to get you to move. I can't progress the story without you. Now come with your idiocracy, which is another movie. I haven't watched it, but I might now. Oh, I gotta push him that way. Hold on. Stop it! All right, go. No, no, you fool. You're not where you're supposed to be. Get out from under there. Come out. Stop hiding from your true nature. Yeah, I think it's supposed to that, that London. Good night, Salsa Me. I'm tired, though, so I might not remember. Okay, it's fine. <laughs> I'll have more movies in the future, maybe. This game is giving me ideas of movies. Don't shoot me! You killed yourself, dude. Will you move? Thank you! Jeez! I'm not supposed to kill you if you're still here! I'm Indiana Jones! I don't have to be on the ground. But yeah, so, you know, destroys the meteor, saves the world. 
one of the best songs in the movie by Eric. Is it Eric Sarah? Um, Lost Light plays at the end. While they're making out. <laughs> Will you leave? Get off the. Get off my ship! I wish I could grab you. You're so annoying. No, go. Alright, see. There we go. Just like this man was invincible. He's a universal soldier, huh? I don't even have Jean Claude. He's in here, though. I don't know his name from the movie, but it's Jean Claude Van Damme. So, fifth element. Everybody lived except the aliens and that one guy. Oh, sorry, everybody who's supposed to live lived. Fifth element. Fifth element is love. So, Little Light or Lost Light? I think it's Little Light by Eric Serra. I like the song. Alright, next movie. Blade. Uh, sum it up. He saved vampire. Uh, mom was turned into a vampire while she was pregnant with him. That's how he is blazed. Stop killing my dude! Oh god, don't kill me! Oh, dang it! Blade, yeah, so. He hates vampires. Hates them! Took away his life. His mama's life, his family. Well, took away his. Took away. Took away his. No, whatever. Took away his life, his family. Um. Took away his family. He was born half. That's how that happened in the 90s. I say in the 90s because Twilight kind of messed, kind of changed that up a little bit. Um. So yeah, his mom. It shows at the beginning his mom giving birth to him and then, um, while dying, she had like a huge wound on her neck or whatever. Yeah. So there, Blade starts off. Um, this professor lady, she um researches, you know. She does science stuff. <laughs> That's what I'm gonna say. Science stuff. I know. <laughs> if I start naming things, I'm not even gonna know what I'm talking about because there's none of that. Anyway, she has this relationship with this guy she worked with and not to get anymore, and he's like, oh, come on, give another chance and all that stuff. She's like, I don't wanna be bothered with it. Bitch. You were just being weird. I don't know if he was like ghosting her or something. I can't remember exactly. Anyway, eventually she gets bitten because the hospital she or place she works at gets raided. I'm gonna say she works in pharmaceutical stuff. Where she actually like makes medicine, like she does all the like sciencey part of that. You know, it has to, you know, it has to relate to something Blade would be useful with. You know, like, she can't just be just anybody. This is just a damsel in distress. Blade don't care about that stuff. You gotta make this man want to help you. Blade can't be tempted with like, you know, ah, cute girl. Uh, no, no, no. Blade doesn't care about that. He does not. Um, so he's like a, it's, it's hard to convince him. Okay. All right. Anyways, she gets bitten, and all of a sudden, uh, oh God! Da, da, da. She gets bitten in the neck. Blade shows up out of nowhere, cause you know, remember, he's hunting vampires. He's not there for her. Don't even think they're friends. They're not friends at all. She just happened to be, you know, where he, uh, you know. Oh no! At the beginning. Sorry, I missed the best part. So there's this party going on, right? <laughs> now, this is after the birth of him. There's this party going on. This very cool. Cool party. There's humans in. Oh, sorry. This person. Oh, I already ruined it. This person in there with this other guy, and it's like, oh man, cool party. He realizes eventually when this buzzard or this song changed. I don't know if the buzzard that hit or the song changed or the lights just went off. It started raining blood, and this guy started like slowly freaking out on the inside, like, oh god, what is happening at this party? Then he just start pe seeing people getting mauled and bitten by a whole bunch of vampires, and I thought, man, this is wild. This is cool. And then you yeah, actually, you know, Blade shows up to come see his best friend, the one vampire he hates so much. He's been hunting. He's 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 a vampire hunter, so he's been hunting this guy for a while. That's the only reason he's there to find him, and he just started slicing vampires left and right. Greatest <laughs> greatest opening to a movie besides you know being born. Get off me! So he started messing him up. Um, yeah. The guy he was looking for, he actually burned him, I think. Did he burn him? I think he burned him. That's how he ends up in the hospital, and that's why Blade is there to go get him. Forgot about that. Don't die! Sorry! I'm so sorry! Oh, you're dead. Well, alright. Stop it! Why are you lost and running over a toilet? I don't need to be on this. Okay, okay. Get off of it. It killed us last time. Are you not dead? You're not dead. You are dead. You idiot! What did you do? 
Well, I got what I wanted. <laughs> I'm upset. Yay! The brothers! There, these guys are unhinged, by the way. That's awesome. Where are the foes in this movie? I didn't know! I gotta go watch it again now. Wave the foes great. This character is very, uh... Very interactive in this movie. The Boondock Saints. Ah, oh, God! I didn't see the second one. That was the first one. There's a whole shootout of just three people and nobody got shot. That's a wild movie. If anything, it was just more disturbing to peace than actually somebody getting killed. It was great. Why'd that happen? Got a ramen thick song on my ear. Which one is my tuxedo? Ah, it's almost over. It's fine. Anyways, um, where was it? What was it about? Blade. Yeah. So yeah, he went to the hospital to get that guy because he knew he was. He wanted to make sure that man was dead. So they brought him in. As, oh no, a person got burned or whatever. He's all dead and crisp. He's all crusty and all that. He's dead. Yeah, that man was alive. He's a vampire. He bit the guy. That old girl, you know, who she worked with, who like still liked her and wanted to date her or whatever. He bit her. I mean, he bit him. And she's like, oh no, he's gonna die. He's gonna bite me next. Um, so. Well, she does get bit. She thought old boy was dead. He's, 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 he's he, well, he, I guess he died. Whatever. I don't know. Anyways, <laughs> she gets bit. And Blaze like, ah. I'm not, I'm not dealing with this. It ain't my job. And if for some reason he looked at her and kind of like thought about his mom. Yeah, she reminded him of his mom. So. He saved. He just decided to save her. So he just took her and just yeeted her out of the window. <laughs> it's a safe thing. This man is not gentle. Come on now. Remember, vampire hunter. Uh, barely any emotions there. Come on now. You gotta, you gotta get the, you get the tears out of your eyes when I have time for that. Um, cause the warrior in his face can get you bitten by a vampire. Get out of my way! My God, it's too much. I don't want that. Oh my God, that useless freaking special! It sucks. It sucks. He sucks. You suck. Um. So he saves her, he goes back to his domain. She's like, uh, he's gonna find some way to save her. Cause he doesn't want her to become a vampire. And he like, she asked for that life, you know? Cause he hates what he is. He's a, you know, half human, half vampire. And you know, he's just, he just hates who he is, you know? He didn't ask for this. And he didn't want her to have to change into one. Um, so. Brought her back. He usually don't take anybody back. They're a bit nomadic. They usually don't stay in a place long because they're, you know, vampires move around when they're hunting. They're always moving place because they gotta, you know, change face, whatever. Anyway, this is her, his human friend. This old boy. He kind of make it seem like they only like work together as business because they got, you know, something in common and they help each other. He helps Blade because uh, he helps Blade administer his um. Don't turn, you know, kind of, Blade doesn't drink blood, right? So, old boy makes medicine for him to, like, you know, not want to drink blood. So, he does that. Also, he gets some good weapons and stuff. So, he's his weapon guy. You know, they, they you know, they complement each other. Um, I don't know. Old girl is very set on, I want to help you. I'm, she's very curious, like a child in a... Uh, in, toy, in a Toys R Us. You know, that thing that doesn't exist anymore. That makes me very sad in my childhood. Yeah, she really wants to help him out. And he's like, nah, you can't do nothing for me. You human. I already got him. We good. She's like, nah, I want to help. I can help whatever, you know, whether you want me to or not. And he's like, god dang it, where I... <laughs> Why does somebody want to listen to me? You know, he gets annoyed. He's like, alright, fine. It's not like a yeah, cool, you can join. He's just like, alright, whatever. Happened to you, happened to you. Like I said, Blade ain't like, Blade ain't there to hold your hand. <laughs> I, think, I think it's a great character because he's not there to hold your hand. And it's like, man. I'm glad he's not getting smitten or anything. He, he never he never gets smitten, by the way. That never happens. That's just it just doesn't. And I'm I'm all for it. 
it, it's a distraction it really so she wants to help and all they get closer um so the bad guy of this story he uh he's kind of modernized it's around the era because the look of the movie it's it's around the era where you would think um kind of when dvds start to be a big thing and like you know the dvd players that you you can put in the car the ones you gotta hook up to like the radio to like play it and whatever you know that that one that's the kind of era it reminds me of it's a very y2k era of it because when you see him a lot it's a lot of blue and that isn't his eyes blue i think he has the the, the bad guy has blue eyes anyways so he's part of the new breed of vampires not the old ones and what is it he wanted i think he wanted respect as an elder, but they'll never respect him because he's half vampire. He's not full fledged vampire. And he's like, well, I don't want to be full fledged vampire. So he decided to get chaotic, <laughs> dig up all the, um, what is he? Went to the old ancient, ancient things to try to, you know, figure out how he can achieve this thing that he wants. What are you doing? And he's the kind of guy that likes, you know, like me, who will listen to music on the headphones and stuff. You know, he was a, you know, he was a modernized type of guy. He was young. He wanted to be part of the top, but they didn't respect him enough to do it. So he decided to get their respect. Actually, no, he really didn't. He, oh God, why did I do that? No, get out of my face. So he decided to get rid of them. Um, He needed most of them, but he didn't need all of them to do his little ritual thing he was trying to do. Cause you need like vampire, full fledged vampire blood to do the ritual. And you remember him being half, he could just use the, the other newbies. He needed the the right uh, the the OGs. So when did Machete come in? Did you tell me Machete come in? No, I don't remember that. So he um he got rid of the main dude who who opposed him, which is probably his maker, which is kinda like treachery in vampire world. Ah! Um what the hell is this song? I don't want to hear this. Hold on. No, no, no. Ooh. Rufus, this song. I like this song. Get off me! You can't even bite me. I'm a Robocop. Oh my god, Murphy! Oh my god, his skeleton is creepy. So, uh, uh, yeah. So, he wanted to come up in the world and they didn't want it. So, he's like a, he's like an angsty teenager who wants to get his way. That's pretty much the story I got from that. He always had parties and stuff, all the little minions and stuff would follow him around. He's like, oh my god, he's so cool. Also, that guy that Blade was like hunting was like one of his henchmen. Who was like, uh, he likes parties too. So this is like a party era. I don't know. Actually, it really was late nineties up to like COVID, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. Party songs just was coming up in the world. Anyways, um. Yeah, actually, most of the 90s and, like, pretty much the late parts of the 80s was party music. Why am I getting off something? So, yeah, he just wanted to be one of the top ones, and they didn't want to respect him for that because he was never going to be because he wasn't a full-fledged vampire. So he decided to burn the main dude, the main um, vampire dude, to a crisp. Oh, my God, it's going to bring my brother back, but I guess not. Why? Why did I? Why did I take him head on? So he started. Yeah, he burned him as an example, and the rest of them. You know, they're full fledged. Really? They're full fledged vampires. You think they would have like, you know, retaliated in a vampire way against this this youngling? But did he have? Did he have something that could stop him? I don't know. But he was trying to unleash and become like a godlike vampire. That was the power he was trying to unleash. So he can be the one to be bowed down to. Um. He succeeded in that. Um. I'm just fast forwarding this movie. Anyways, um. So, yeah, that was his whole goal. So there's not much more to say about him. So back to Blade. Remember, uh, half vampire, all that. So. He thought his mom was dead, right? Come to find out, his mom was alive and well. 
and found out that she wanted to be a vampire and she was also helping the bad guy which was messed up because the bad guy is trying to get rid of blade now because he out of all the vampires blade is the only one who was like a full half vampire like a full 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 like legit half and he can walk in the daylight so they're like it's like ah man this guy he's the one so he thinks so blade is necessary for the ritual as well because he's he's a, they call him daywalker he walks during the daylight the rest of them can't no matter if they're turned or not the blade is the only one so it makes him special you could be special in the 90s <laughs> you'd be really special in the 90s and he was special so uh and blade didn't care about that though he didn't boast about things like that he was like man i hate what i am so you can call it whatever you want you call it a gift i hate this so, uh, they needed Blade for the ritual, that's why they didn't try to kill him, they just needed to, like, in case, like, yeah, they just needed his blood, really. Oh god, Conan. You guys get me killed, Conan! Everything you do is close range, I don't need that in my life. I only want it with Neo, Neo is enough, and he's pretty quick. Um, so, they captured Blade, right, by adding, so, like, you know, playing with his weakness, which is his mom. I don't know how he knew that. I guess, you know, his mom sucks. Also, it's Sana Lathan. His mom is Sana Lathan, which is interesting because technically, I think her and Blade are about the same age. Oh, that was interesting. Yeah, his mom is Sana Lathan. Um, well, it would make sense because if she turned to a vampire, she wouldn't age anyway. I guess it works out. I forgot I was, it was talking about a vampire movie. So yeah, Son of Lathan. Um, she pretty much betrayed Blade. She liked that she's a vampire. He's like, how could you? You know, remember, he despises anybody who wants to be a vampire. That's just Blade. How am I supposed to do this? I forgot how. Hold on, let me figure out this game and I'll continue the great story of Blade. So his mom helped to get him encased into, um this chamber, which is gonna drain Blade's blood. Oh no, it's this one! God damn it, I hate this one! Sorry, I'm yelling. I hate this one. It's going slow though, which is interesting. Blade, I mean, why me? Stop the slow motion. God, I can't deal with that. I need to go. But she helps to encase him into the thing. Dust? Oh god. This is- oh my god. She helps to encase him into the chamber that takes his blood, which is- that's the- that, 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 that's not treacherous. I don't know where- that's her own child, you know? So she gets him in case, and then, you know, he's like, oh, messed up. Okay. I was- I was making moves. I didn't have any other life, but I was making moves. What? No, oh, come on. Dirty Harry would've been perfect. He shoots through people. Great. This guy. I got that um, Eiffel blue. Eiffel, Eiffel 60, whatever. Look, the blue song in my ear. It's amazing. I, feel, I, I love it. Eiffel 65, is that it? Not the number? He's pooping out bombs. How many bombs do you have in there? Just all bombs, no people? No. Speed this up. I got somewhere to go. I got something to do. Oh, God. Sorry, I gotta go. Gotta go. Gotta go. Gotta go. Okay, get oh, man. Dang it. You only get one life. It's so... But well, you get one life for a while. All right, Blade, let's do this. I'm talking about your movie. Anyways, they drain the blood from him. He gets weak. The professor girl finds him. She's like, oh, my God. And then he's like, oh, I'm so weak. Oh, no, you got to save us. And it's just like, you know. She, like, gives him his blood. And that was his first time tasting human blood, I guess. We don't have any backstory on whether he mistakenly did or anything. Also, um, the guy he works with found him as a child, like, in a, you know, he was just like, I think he was eating rats, uh, you know. 
He's still, you know, he knows. I think, I don't know how he knew what he was. I guess because he walked during the day, he saw humans, so he knew he was human. But he knew he craved blood, so whatever. Um. So she gave him his blood, and he just got real strong all of a sudden, you know? And so he went to go fight the guys. Um, so this dude set up a ritual. He put all, like, the OG vampires in, like, a circle. They put a stand in, like, these certain spots to, for their ritual to work. I forgot what he had to do. Oh, he had to, they have to, like, drop blade blood and drain their blood as well. So they, they just, like, sliced all of them. I don't know how they just let this happen. They're just, they're, they're the real vampire. Whatever, anyways. Um, I don't think he weakened them or threatened them in some kind of way. They're like, oh my god, please don't throw some sunlight. I'm like, really? You can, like, slice his throat right now. But, uh, so yeah, so he's in the middle of, like, so he gets the power. His eyes turn red, he gets the power or whatever. And, you know, fast forward to fight, Blade and all that, blah, blah, blah. Everybody else getting knocked out. And then just him and him, and they're, like, face to face. And the best quote of this whole movie is when Blade says, and, uh, excuse my, um, I don't know what the F word is. Is that a, is that a French word? Anyway. You know, the favorite, you know, the favorite word man, Samuel Jackson loves to say. I'm glad he not normalized that word, but that word is the best word. Anyways, he says, because, um, the young guy, um, vampire explained, you know, kind of explained his story to Blade, you know, like a bad guy does. And it's like, and then Blade says, some motherfuckers always trying to ice skate for here. That does look right. Some motherfuckers always trying to ice skate up here. Best line. <laughs> and then after he says that very iconic thing, he freaking does a what do you call that? A spin kick? A spin kick kicks the it's a it's a syringe. He kicks the like Sam syringe that they created. The also the scientist girl helped create this serum. The Sam syringe to turn him back, which makes him kind of bubble up and implode, which is weird. And the rest of them die? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, Blade. And the Blade. Also, um, so I realized the conversation he had with the, the professor girl after, you know, the whole thing, she was supposed to stay and help him try to find a cure for his vampirism. Because, you know, he takes medicine to keep it down. To what? Since last accent? Okay. Is that a pickaxe? Oh, that's the gun, right? Oh man, it's gonna be where all the rocks keep falling, huh? But yeah, um, it seemed like she was supposed to be there, but I tell you what, she is definitely not on part two, which, out of all the blades, part two was like, what's happening now? Um, in part two, he's like, oh god! Uh, two, two is one of ones, is oddly enough, I've seen in the corner of my eye more, but not my favorite blade <laughs> but two is like i don't think did he go to a different country it kind of shows a little bit at the end of one he went he was going around you know like i said he's nomadic so he does travel to do these jobs jobs that he create oh apparently his guy his old boy is dead this his buddy that he rolls with apparently he's dead uh, i'm not sure if he is i think he's still alive in two i'm not 100 percent sure how do I use again? That's why the rocks fall, right? Yeah. Oh god! Oh, oh, oh. I think it's hell. Yeah. Apparently she's supposed to stay around and help him figure it out. But I guess for part two, I guess it means no, we can't have him cure his vampirism. He's bleed! We need him for the three uh, two more parts after this. So like uh, oh, oh okay. I might be right. Somebody got mad about it. Hit me with a rock. But yeah, they're like, no, we need him. So he's still a vampire but for two more movies. <laughs> you know, even the one, the third one with Ryan Reynolds and um, old boy's daughter, I guess. Who knew he had a kid? Nobody knows. Then again, most characters that die probably had a wife or a family, some kind of one way or another. It's just how the stories go, you know? Oh. <clears throat> I knew it was gonna happen. I don't know why I didn't run back the other way. 
Anyway, two creatures in the sewers. I'm not sure what country it was in. I want, I want to say it was Europe. Uh, just like Britain or something. Or the UK. Not 100% sure. Anyways, that's how the last one was. Uh, or the end of one. Oh god. Sorry, listen to Tony Terry. Um, so that's in the Blade. What the movie can I talk about? I don't know any Indiana Jones movies by heart, and I'm not gonna. All I know is. Uh. What's the one with the cup? The one when you're looking for his daddy. When you have daddy issues. That one. That's the only one I kind of remember, but only from pictures. And the one with the little kid. You know, the little kid that's now grown up and who's on, you know, anything, everywhere, all at once and after and later and in. Whatever the name of that is. It's a lot of, uh. It's a lot of vague words. <laughs> I keep saying them wrong. Yeah, he was the husband in that one. Yeah, but he was a kid. He was in the indie movie. So, explain to me how old Indiana Jones is. <laughs> when the kid in the movie is now an adult. Eh? Eh? Yeah, it's a... It's a hit or miss on that one, huh? But I was gonna remember that one, right? Um... Funny enough. The Matrix. Don't know too much about The Matrix. I know it's Keanu Reeves. I know he's the best in the movie. Oh my God, come on. He's the best and uh, he's Neo and he's Mr. Anderson. And they're stuck in a simulated world, which in hindsight is what we are too. Come on. Come on, I can be conspiracy. I can be conspiracy all of a sudden. Uh, what other movie wanna talk about? Should I talk about all of the diehards? I can give you an idea on all of them. If you want, I can just sum it up. Bad guy. First Die Hard. I forgot his name. <laughs> Premise. Um. Um. John McClane. Just going to a Christmas party. His wife's Christmas party at her new at her job that she loves. Um. She works for this Japanese company. It's not in Japan, by the way. It's just a Japanese company in America. I don't know if it was fresh and new or what. All I know is these guys came. Were they German? Not 100% sure. But, uh, they, they wanted, they, 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 they come to destroy the company. They came for the company. They already killed the, 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 the owner, which is really messed up. <laughs> I'm like, well, I guess it can't be a movie unless somebody dies. And he was an important figure. Especially to everybody in the company. So the Christmas party, everybody's being held hostage. There was uh, there. was there a pregnant lady? Because I feel like it's it's Christmas. Somebody's pregnant. That that, that doesn't. That doesn't it's, it's a little late, but I feel like it does for some reason. Don't kill me! Come on, I'm doing my best. Andy, get out there! The plane is gonna leave. I will leave you. God damn it, Andy! Um. Yeah. So you know. Funny enough, he's already in the building. Um. McLean, he's in the building already. Um, is he in the building? Yeah, he's uh, already in there. Just calm, collective, just coming as a husband, not as a cop, which is the character's a cop in these movies. Um, oh, come on. Dang it, come on. This is gonna be annoying. Why are the side ones the worst ones? So in the first one, going to see his wife for Christmas party, he traveled, whatever. They're still there, you know, happy couple, whatever. Um, place being taken over, bad guys. There's one cop. Or detective? Cop, detective? Again, he was a detective. He usually works alone in things he do. For the most part. Because this stuff he does is always wild. In, some, in one way or another. He works the jobs like nobody else would want to work. Anyways, um, so pretty much he helps take it down. Carl from Family Guy, from Family Guy, from Family Matters. You know, not Steve Urkel, the the actual main character of the of the the husband, the husband from Family Matters. He's the actual cop, um, in the story. 
Because remember, McClane was just there to support his wife and her job. And he ended up having to work. All right, God. Thank you. I hate you. Shut up. <laughs> but they gotta work together. Do walkie, or, you know, walkie talkie. They didn't meet each other because you remember this this building. He's high up in the building. So he, they haven't gone in there. The police are already surrounding. There's this guy who gets stuck there when the cops around it and whatever the bushes. There's a guy who looks like Richard Pryor. It's not Richard Pryor, but you swear it's Richard Pryor. Let's go look at it if you don't believe me. I swear it's Richard Pryor. Anyways, um, they kind of like talk to each other, talk about what's going on, what help he needs, and all this other stuff. Who's on there? Um, what's his name? The principal from Breakfast Club. I don't know how old the people are watching this. The 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 guy that had to watch the kids in Breakfast Club. That guy, he's in there. He's the one. Yeah, he's in there. He's a. Uh, he's the boss of the policeman. Oh, oh my God, it's red. Of course, it's danger. This is. This, 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 this. But yeah, he um. I don't know. He hates. He hates women. Does he know McLean? I'm not sure if he knows McLean. I think it's in his jurisdiction. They're in Los Angeles, I believe. And McLean is from New York. So far away from home, huh? Not not a not a Spider-Man, not not a Spider-Man thing at all. Just literally, he's from New York. I know he's from New York because that's what happens in the third one. <laughs> I forgot what's happening in the the premise of the second one, but I know why. I forgot why he's there, but I know where he's at. Um, but in the first one, pretty much he deals with these terrorist guys. They get it done. Hippie Kaye, motherfucker. Um, was in that one. And he saves his wife and the whole family. His wife is trying to help be very helpful too. I don't know if she knew he was there or not. I mean, there's no cell phones. Remember, this is the nineties. Cell phones? What? You, you, you gonna pay the phone bill? It ain't free until after night with AT and T. After nine o'clock with AT and T. Anyways, um. Oh my God! I gotta change this song. Oh my God! I'm in. I'm in peril. There you go. That's a cool song. Um, oh, Man and Dragons. Great. I love Man and Dragons. And who doesn't? Well, I don't know. I love Man and Dragons. <laughs> um, so he saved his wife in the first one. Second one. Um, plane being tra- uh, a plane being taken over? I forgot by who? But the whole airport got taken down. And they turned- they turned off the lights. There's planes in the sky. They need navigation, so the lights need to be on. Kind of like in the Amazing Spider-Man when the whole city um turned off. You know the one with uh the second Amazing Spider-Man. You know the one with Andrew Garfield when all the lights were out and the planes didn't that planes couldn't work. I mean, it couldn't land. I should say, at least not land safely. They could land. It just wouldn't be the landing they would want. So uh, that happened. So the airport was in trouble. It was a lockdown, and there's people in the back, like where the luggage and stuff go, just doing debauchery. A whole bunch of debauchery going on. The McLean is like, not on my flight, but I'm trying to get to. He he had a flight to get to. He was gonna go see his wife again. Uh, I don't know why they're so far apart. Uh, John Amos is in there. If you don't know who that is, um, I don't know if any of you know it. Why did I, why did I stand there and take that? Can't be it. I'm not trying to be a chat or anything. Um, who else is he on? God, I can't think. Have you ever seen Good Times? He's the father from Good Times, John Amos. Not John Stamos, not Uncle Jesse. The John Amos. Anyways, he was a traitor. <laughs> he was a traitor in the movie. Um, he was a, like an ex military and he had a group that actually worked with him and everything. Anyways, it was an inside job. The illegal all Americans. Yeah, what's up? Anyways, aren't they traitorous and they work with the other group? I'm not sure. And yeah, back in the 90s and the 80s, a lot of the terrorists, quote unquote, like the groups that were like, you know, causing problems were usually like Russia. For some reason, Russia was always a thing. Or like just a different country or Germany or something. It was weird. There's a lot of action movies from the 80s and 90s. I guess because after the Vietnam War or something. I don't know. I don't, I'm a child, okay? I just like action movies. They were great. Um. Three, two, one. But yeah, 
Yeah, it was a bit of an inside. It was, it, well, he was traitorous. Whatever happened. Anyway, McLean helped save the airport. They landed that, that one plane that needed to the land, and everything worked out. Why am I trying to rush through this? I'm gonna die. Um. I made it anyway! Oh my god. Uh, I didn't make it. Anyways, they saved the plane and everything. That died hard too. John Amos is gone, and anybody else who opposed John McClane, because he's just OP and always gets caught in situations he didn't ask for. None of these are jobs, by the way. It's just things he just happened to be there. You know, wrong place, wrong time, I guess. Our faith just always seems to find him. Is you're meant to do this, John! Like Doctor Strange was like, oh, you're fated to do this! Um, uh, Mr. Uh, 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 Strange. Steven! I almost forgot his name. He's one of my, he's my favorite. How can I remember? <laughs> I got too many names to remember, sorry. Um, I'm a little rusty. Anyways, um, <laughs> it took a whole two hours to explain a few movies. Hello. Damn! Oh god, you jumped out. I'm glad you did. Huh, Sylvester Stallone, you're pretty good at Rambo. I think there is a. Uh, sorry, I gotta finish. Um, Die Hard 3. This is where you'll find Samuel Jackson. For some reason, Samuel Jackson's character, it's always seemed like he's always waiting for a racist comment. And I'm like, did it have to be like that? No, it did not. It was annoying. It was very annoying. Just put that out there. He was waiting for Bruce Willis to say, you know, racist, something racist or whatever. As if he had, like, a bad life. His character had a bad life or something. It always made it seem like he was just waiting for somebody to always say something just terrible to him. I'm like, what is wrong with... Why? Why does he always... Always... Oh, my God. And every, every other comment was like that. I'm like, why? Why, why, why? He didn't have to be that character. Yeah, I did this to this man. Anyways, um... They have to work together. Because now the bad guy in this one is the little brother from the big brother in the first one. He just want revenge, if anything. But he could just get revenge. He had to explain. He had to make it, you know, work this people's while. But they were also still in the gold from somewhere in New York. <laughs> somewhere in New York was being stolen. All of those that involved a whole subway. They, they like bombs in this one. Oh, well, they like bombs in general. Maybe it was a German group. I don't know. I'm trying to think of um, some of the words they say and if it was German that they used. I think I think they were uh, German. They technically were here from McLean because they, they call for him specifically. He also, this one was pretty interesting because the way he had to like do everything was all riddles based. And at some point it just felt like he was just on a rat race just getting to things after they were done hearing it. Like one thing he had to like um, do a puzzle of a lot of math and the, the, the physics and you know just and Samuel Jackson's character was pretty good he was a pretty um well of that person to help him he um he had, he had wits about him you know so he was helpful everybody has to be helpful to somebody in the story it's important unless it's a comedy then you definitely <laughs> but like in stories you gotta everybody has to be able to help or else what is the purpose of the character you know, in most stories. It doesn't have to be that way. But it, you know. Back in the day. Anyways, um, so they did all that and... They got rid of the little brother and that's it. I haven't watched the Die Hards after that. Don't know why. It's like two, one, two more? Is Die Harder? <laughs> die Harder. What is Live Free and Die Hard? Or Live Free and Die Harder? Something like that? Yeah, see, you can tell I didn't watch them. I don't know the names of them. I know we got Die Hard 1, oh, Die oh. Hard 2, and Die Hard with a Vengeance. Oh, hi, Karma! I'm talking about Die Hard movies. Well, I'm done now, kind of. I'm trying to figure out what other movie I should talk about. I haven't really seen Alien. I haven't seen Machete. But boy, do I know, um, what his name is? Not Diego. Is his name David? His name is David, right? Who plays uh, Machete? 
I know who Machete is. I think I know him. Mainly from Spy Kids. He's the uncle from Spy Kids. Oh, God dang it. I didn't watch Spy Kids religiously, but I do know the two main characters. The son and the daughter, Antonio Banderas, and I forget who the wife is, because... I was young, and Antonio Banderas was Antonio... I don't know who the wife is. Uh, I don't forget who the wife is. I, I feel like I should know this. I'm pretty sure I would know her if I looked her up. Um... What a movie I can talk about. Talk about Fifth Element, talked about the Expendables that I could remember, and my god, you killed Chuck Norris! Oh god! Um, I'm not, I'm not sad about that one. I'm listening to Amy Winehouse. Now I'm dead, you don't mean dead to me. You can make, make it up to me. Oh, sorry. Uh, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> what other movie should I sing now? Jay, come on! Should I, should I even talk about Men in Black? I feel like most people have seen Men in Black. You don't need me to talk about it. Jay, who was, uh, was he in an academy? What was he doing? I think he was just a good civilian. <laughs> no, I'm not gonna talk about Men in Black. If you ask for Men in Black, I'll talk about Men in Black. I do know one of my favorite things about Men in Black 2 is when he was doing the voice thing with Biz Marquis and doing um, beatboxing, which Biz Marquis is known for R.I.P. R.I.P. to Biz Marquis. Um, Rambo. I can sum up Rambo. Is it a war? Is it, does it coincide with the idea of a Vietnam War? It's war. Bombs. Um, men stuff, guy stuff, bro stuff. Bro stuff? Well, it's the war, so it's it. Oh, God. Yep. Uh, not the smartest thing. How do I kill this? <laughs> Oh, the other diehards. Want to hear more movies? Money talks? I know money talks. Um, they can play pretty much any movie. Family Stone? I know Family Stone. It was a Christmas movie, though. Uh. Talk about Blade. The Blade that kind of mattered, you know? Blade 1 is a staple of Blade, okay? People say Blade, they usually think of 1. Which I think, two and three kind of straight away from the idea of one. Get out, get out, get out, get out, get out! Oh, God! Get out, you fool! What are you doing? Wanna give me a minute? God, why don't you get faster? With this guy, of course! Cue the music! It's already cute. I can die from my own bullets? God, my guy, why are you so human? Why don't you be like Terminator and just uh, punch a guy, take his shotgun, take his clothes? Get it! I'm getting upset! I'm getting upset! I am upset. This, um, self, um, the fr uh, not even friendly fire, this, um, self-depreciating fire is getting old. Oh, God. Shut! Help! Throw the bombs! Get them! Get them! I gotta watch out for those. Forgot about that. Jojo, my god. Well, 
It's not a JoJo. It's the JoJo's. So, all right. So, well, nobody opposed. Cool. All right. So, first JoJo. First JoJo. Name is Jonathan. The greatest and most noble of JoJo's. He is a gentleman. He is British. And he's an only child for a while. So, his dad decides to take care of this kid named Dio. Why? I don't know. A death pay. His dad was almost killed and Dio's dad kind of helped him. Oh, that's his mom! Jonathan, um, Jonathan, Jonathan's mom was killed. In the whole ordeal, but his dad kind of helped, um, Jonathan's dad. So his dad's like, oh, I'll take care of him because Joe, um, Dio's dad died. They're like, what? They're like teenagers right now at this moment. So that's how they know each other. Uh, so they're kind of raised like brothers, I guess. Um, they're starting the brotherhood. Um, so his dad has this thing called a phantom mask, which is what this JoJo is called. JoJo one, the phantom mask. Um. Dio gets curious about it, because Dio, Dio had a different upbringing, right? He's like a teenager by time. Where the hell is this thing at? Where is it? Is it further up? Am I behind? So Dio is like curious. He he also is, my god, he is dire, he is, this man, he wants to see chaos. I don't know what his problem is. Yeah, well, his dad sucked. His dad used to like, you know, hit on him and stuff when he was young. So his dad sucks. So Dio had a different upbringing than Jonathan, who had like a proper gentleman type of like lifestyle. I'm gonna explain that one. And he didn't have to worry about stuff. I mean, he had a dog until Dio came around and the dog is dead. How did the dog die? I forgot. I forgot how Dio killed the man dog, okay? <laughs> that was Jonathan's best friend. He's just like torturing Jonathan. It's like he wanna like knock him off his pedestal or whatever. I have eight lives? Really now? Where the hell is this thing? I can't kill something I can't see. Alright, I know where you're at now. You didn't move! Where the hell are you? Come in myself! Jump up! Come on! You being an idiot! Oh, I'm beating the hell out of this thing. Kill it! Kill it! Dead! Okay, yeah, so, Dio just like, like teasing this dude. Whatever, whatever nonsense. So, like, he goes as far as, like, at one point, so Jonathan has this girl he likes and who likes him. Her name is Arena. He really likes her. And so, I think, if I remember correctly, Arena is going to go see Jonathan, and uh, Dio is aware of this. Goes to see Arena first, and like just freaking takes her first kiss because he sucks. <laughs> it's like oh god, and that's what a me Dio thing comes from because Dio goes to brag about it. But like, hi, it was me, Dio. That's what that that's what that meme comes from. Look, you gotta watch the first one. I don't know if anybody like skipped the first one because it's like, oh, it's too slow, or whatever. I'm like, you gotta respect the craft. If you wanna get all of the jokes and have no, you know, doubt that you haven't seen all the JoJo, respect the craft and watch the first one. I don't care how slow it is. It changes after that. I know it gets cool when they have stands with Jotaro, uh, but um, jo Jotaro, he's also the most boring of all the JoJo's. Yeah, I said it. He's the most boring of all the JoJo's. All right, he does nothing, nothing but look. Is that cool? What if every character did what he does? You know, he's the most boring one. All right, I said it. He is strong. I give you that. But he's also the worst father. Do you you <laughs> you want to talk about that one? Huh? Well, not really the worst father. He wasn't there though, and that's that's usually a, a bad father trait. He can explain something. I'm just saying. Anyways, um, so Dio just loves to see Jonathan. Didn't like get upset. Jonathan is so he is so benevolent and nice. You know, he's just the great. He's just the greatest guy. He didn't take it personal or anything. He still loves his brother. Now he's calling him a brother. Dio is like, Ugh, I can't get this dude mad. That's like his thing or whatever. He just like, I don't know. It's like a whole movie of like, let me tease my my quote unquote brother. 
I was saying movie? A show. Anyways, Jonathan is like, ah, whatever. Um, so Dio gets a hold of the phantom mask, right? Which turn it it gets on your face and you kind of like turn into a vampire. He wants to learn more about it. Um, but I think the Dio already get a. Oh, he didn't put it on his face. He first tried it on somebody else's face, cause Dio ain't Dio ain't no fool. He's a smart guy. He's pretty clever. You know, he he lasts a, a good a, a few series. This man is not an idiot. So he tries to mask on somebody else, and they turn into a vampire. And he's like, oh, hmm, I do want more power in my life. Even if my dad was terrible, and I want I want great things. I want to. He kind of wants to. He wants to live on um, Jonathan's life because he had a better one. You know how that story goes. Anyways, yeah. So now he's a vampire. Now, okay, Jonathan's like, all right, cool. My brother's insane. I love him, but this dude gotta go. Right, there's something at the bottom. He's my responsibility. Dad's dead, by the way. Dad's sick, sick and dying. Um, Jonathan almost died from a house fire. Um, that Dio created. <laughs> the whole house burned, dead, gone. Dead, dead, and uh, Jonathan almost died. Then Jonathan, you know, this whole time thinking, oh, my brother's great in this, and now after this near-death experience, realize, I gotta do something about this dude. This dude is, this dude is diabolical. Also, um, so this best, the best change in this whole series is when they were young, they were like, oh, okay, cool, normal kids. They become 15 all of a sudden, or like 15, 16, I don't know how old they are. They're a little older after, you know, spending time with each other and being brothers or whatever, just, you know, creating that time frame. They're just, just these big ass, big burly men all of a sudden. Like, what the hell is that? Just turn a big burly men, they're huge. Just huge! Like what? What happened? Drink a lot of milk, a lot of cheese in the family. What's happening? Man, they're both burly together. Usually, maybe you have one that's more burly than the other. No, they're both just huge burly men. I think I think Dio's gonna. Yeah, he's British as well. They're both British, just huge burly men. I keep reminding that because they the body frames change, especially with um you know Giordano and Golden Wind. He's not as burly. He's a smaller guy. Which kind of doesn't make sense if you think about it. When you think about, you know, who he is and, you know, where he technically is born or come from. You know, well, I'll get to that. So, uh, Dio, uh, speed it up, Dio's vampire, whatever. His brother needs to stop him, right? Then he meets, um, Zeppeli. Zeppeli. Baron Zeppeli? Baron Zeppeli. Um, who else has a family? And whatever he teaches Jonathan um, how to use his inner um, what do you call it? God, what was it called? Three, two, his inner chi, energy, life force, energy. Oh God, what is it called again? Haman, 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 Haman. It will. Oh, sorry, I'm trying to think of Persona Five, but they kind of use the light. It's a light. It's pretty much your inner life force energy. Which Jonathan has a lot because he's a great guy. <laughs> he's, a, he, he's, he's just a great guy, guys. Um, so I teaches him how to use that to, to fight Dio and whatever. Um, fast forward, because it's not a long series. So just fast forward, he kind of gets Dio. I'm like into all the characters and stuff, you know, fighting him and all. And to the point that he thinks, oh, Dio's done for. You know, I, I got rid of Dio, the problem, my brother. I took care of my brother because I didn't want, you know, he didn't want that kind of burden in his life. <laughs> that was funny. Um, So he thinks he's done. So he's like, ah, oh, you know, I'm gonna finally marry that girl I'm on the date. I mean, one to marry. So he marries Arena, whatever. And uh, they're on this like cruise together. Um, um, and all in. Um, oh my god. And then, you know, oh, there we go. We're doing all this. Come to find out, Dio. Oh, and his little henchman. It's just Dio's head, by the way. Only Dio's head survived. And him and his little henchman are on the ship as well. Oh my god, I'm supposed to. I'm supposed to latch to the top or something. I don't know, listen to Years and Years. Does anybody know who Years and Years is? I love Years and Years. I have all of Ollie's albums. 
I'm listening to the song play right now. Wait, who was the guy named Jack Jones? Is my alarm going off? Oh my god, it's seven? Maybe. I gotta eat food eventually. Not right now, though. God. Um. Yeah, so like, he's like, ah, I gotta go get my brother! And then, like, he gets. How did he get hurt? Jonathan got hurt at some point. Um, so Jonathan knows, oh man, this might be the last time I may be able to like deal with this dude. He, he just seems like he just don't want to die. So Jonathan locks Irina in, in a coffin for safety. Because he knew it's it it about to go down in here. And everybody was changing into zombies, by the way. Or vampires. Either way, um, they were not okay. That's it. And he's like, nope, I gotta save my wife. I got a wife now. I gotta make sure she's safe. Well, yeah, I'll put her in a coffin and keeps her safe. She's sad. She knows she's probably not gonna see him ever again. Or whatever, so that happens. And so he went to face, um, Jonathan goes to face Dio. Airflex. What the hell is that there? Oh, yeah, who did one thing? Where's the other one? There's three of them. Guess I'm not available yet. Seems to face Dio, blah, blah, blah. Fast forward. Jonathan dies. Dio was actually sad about it. He doesn't really say, I'm sad. You kind of sense it. Because, like, I mean, who else knows Dio as much as Jonathan? They grew up together. That's the one person that's ever going to know him as much as anybody. And Jonathan. So... Ship explodes. Um, Arena survives with the coffin. The coffin, um, kind of... That set at sea and... Yeah, whatever. You find out she's pregnant or whatever. Eventually. God. Sorry, Machete. I didn't mean to. Neo, do it! Um... Thus bringing about part two. Um... So... Part two. Which, is it part two that starts off like this? So, you think, oh yeah, what would part two be about? Yeah, it's about Dio again. So, is it part two about Dio? No, it's part three. So, there's this ritual that happens. I don't know if it was, I forgot which one. I should have said it before. There's this ritual that happens about that mask thing. And it's about this woman being sacrificed. That's pretty much the ritual of that. I don't know if she wears it or what, but it, yeah. Um, woman getting sacrificed. Anyways, um, part two. So, now we're on the next JoJo, which is Jonathan. Jonathan, the... How would I explain this jo him as a JoJo? He's a JoJo that... <laughs> if you wanted one word for him, you, I would say crook, but he's not a bad guy. He just... I mean, he grows up in New York, alright? He grows up in New York. Right? If you're from New York, you understand how, you know... You gotta get by sometimes for certain things. Anyways, um, it's a, it's look, it's a, it's a, it's a big city. You can't be a Jonathan type and survive in New York, all right? Maybe you can. I don't know. I wouldn't think. I, I would think you would get by better if you had a. You got. You have some know how, okay? You can't just uh, just be good the whole time. <laughs> Whatever. Anyway, I don't know what I'm trying to say. Um, Jonathan. I mean, uh, yeah. Uh, what? What? What did I say? Um, I forgot his name already. <laughs> Joseph! <laughs> Joseph! Big brother man still, because, well, he's, like, um, part European and now American. I don't know if Amer is American even considered a, a, a group? I mean, I know it's a country, right? It's where you're from. But, like, like, I wouldn't call myself American. <laughs> Like, well, whatever. He's American and European, all right? So he's still a big burly man. It's just when they change from that, they, their bodies start to change. I don't know. Anyway, Jonathan, he's a grandson of Jonathan, by the way. Grandson. Now, he gets pulled into the whole situation. Also, we live with his grandma arena. His dad is dead, and his mom is... A quote-unquote dead. Um... So he stays with his grandma Arena, who's Jonathan's wife, and uh, he's uh, he tries to do his best to make her proud. Cause you know, remember he's he always doing some crazy stuff. He has hormone as well. Um, oh my God, 
He has strength, or he's very clever. He just has this um, thing where he can pretty much um, guess what you're about to say before you say it. That's one thing that happens. He's a lot of a, uh, a lot of him is comic relief. He's the one. There's a lot of comic relief about him. Um, cause he's always he's always up to something, you know. <laughs> There's one part where. So he gets a sense of the vampires are coming back again, right? And one of the characters, I remember him uh, very uh, uh, vividly, is Straitso. So Straitso helped Jonathan out in the first one. I didn't mention side characters. It's, Jojo does go hard. Robocop, yeah, Robocop on here. It ain't very helpful, but he on here. Murphy, you know, the, I could talk about Robocop. Although, when I say talk about Robocop, I'm talking about the old one and only three. <laughs> oh, old, old Murphy and only three. I kind of want to watch the newer one, which is not really a newer one. It's like back in the teens of the years. But uh, I know it's old boy from the Suicide Squad. The, uh, the, the 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 one that was the one that the one that wanted trying to save the girl because that's his girl. The, I can't think of his name. Whatever, him. He played Robocop. I didn't know that. Now I want to watch it because he played him. <laughs> Anyways, um, so Jonathan, he get, why does he get involved? Whatever. Um, yeah, straight so. He sounds like straight so was a traitor because he straight so decided he became a vampire and now wanted to destroy, um, Jonathan, they didn't ever get him involved. I forgot what his name was. Anyway, he dies um, <laughs> because Jonathan made it. I think he killed himself. Or he did that. I don't know. Anyways, they find out there's a new threat. Right, the threat is still a problem, and Jonathan needs to get his way up. So, um, he travels to where do you go? Italy. There's somebody out there that's supposed to help him. And oh god, her name is um Lisa Lisa. The lady named Lisa Lisa is supposed to help him, and also help another guy, um who is Zeppelin. He was Zeppelin as well. I don't know if he's like uh, Baron Zeppelin's kid or not. Oh, Baron Zeppelin dies in the other one. Anyway, everybody dies in these JoJo's stories. Anyways, especially the Zeppelin's. Um, so he meets another guy named Caesar Zeppelin, who is a uh, the man of the women, I guess. He's a, the, is he a, who do you think a senator flirt? He's a gentleman. Um, he's Italian. Caesar. He also has hormone, but his deals with bubbles. Which the most people would seem like, oh, that's the softest thing to deal with. I'm like, well, I don't know, because I feel like we barely had a chance to really see what he can do before he died eventually. There's also this one German dude, von Stronheim. Von Stronheim? Whatever. He uses like. What year is this? This is like back in like the 30s or something. Indiana Jones. It's kind of Indiana Jones-esque inspired. I know Rocky loved, um, he loves Western. That's one of his favorite genres. Um, so Indiana Jones, I guess is like a, uh, Indiana Jones was like, I guess it's considered, you know, one of those things. So, yeah. Or, no, some people joke about this in the North Star. There's this one, this arc, whatever. Um, so fast forward, they're gonna train with Lisa Lisa, who you later find out is his mom, getting past that part. You find out his mom. She, first off, she doesn't look old, and you're wondering, how old are you? When, how old is Lisa Lisa? She, she's hot, so it's like, uh, shouldn't you be a little older, lady? But anyways, um, so they're all trying to take down, first off, Pillarman. Um, greatest, one of the greatest songs in the, in, in the, the story. Look like up Pillar Man music if you, um, if, you're, if you just don't want to watch JoJo, but very curious about the three Pillar Men. Their names are definitely based off of something, um, that is very common to people who know these groups. One of them is named ACDC, one of them is named Cars, and the other one is Wamu, which is, which reminds me of Wham. <laughs> Wham, you know, that one group, but, um, 
with George Michaels. We know George Michaels, especially either his Christmas song or Careless Whispers. You better know George Michaels. You have to know George Michaels. How do you not know George Michaels? Anyways, um, oh, come on. I can't get up here. Get me up here. Ooh, is this the jumpy one? I didn't want to do that. No! No, it's not! Whoops! No, you idiot! You idiot! Get, grab the- You're not grabbing the ladder. Yeah, so, um, they have to work together, and then the pillar men come out. I'm like, oh god, pillar men! We have another threat! They're part of the mask thing, by the way. They're like the men of the mask that I mentioned. The Phantom Mask? Or the mask? The... Is it the Phantom? What is it? Oh no, I hate this one! The freaking Rocketeer! They didn't even tell me about the Rocketeer! They didn't! I don't remember them showing me the Rocketeer. Did I miss that one? Oh wait, a guy! Well, you can't do it either, Arnold. Alright, you guys across the thing fast, though. Um, yeah, so you gotta deal with the Pillar Man. So, one of them is ACDC. I'll tell you the names already. We know the names. Okay, so, Pillar Man, right? Hold on. I'm trying to get this. quick he tried to get um oh but he also put um this poison this creature this little venomous creature parasite or is it is it really poison some kind of parasite put poison in um jonathan so his heart is it his heart or his voice i don't know if it was his throat i think it was his throat where you know he could he could die at any moment so they definitely gotta get rid of this threat So they gotta get rid of the problem, right? But he gotta... Oh, it's his throat! Cause the hormone is work through your breathing patterns. So if anything, he nailed a smart man to do that. Oh my God, Alex is so loud in my ear. I need to get in the middle. I remember. Um, so one by one, they take out the... Um, Pillar Man. The first one to get rid of was ACDC. Yeah, he was getting, he was getting rid of about the training grounds already. All right, so they know about this threat. Also, Caesar and John, um, um, Joseph don't really like each other uh, until they start fighting together. Um, I don't know if they finish with one move first. I want to say one move. Was, is it one move that kills? One move kills Caesar, and Caesar, you know, his dying thing wish was like. Um, he gave, I forgot what he gave. He gave this scarf to Jonathan. That was one of the saddest moments. I'm, I'm not giving, I'm not doing it justice, but that was one of the saddest moments of that whole series was when Caesar died. Because Caesar did his best. The poor Caesar. But like I say, the Zeppelins died. He died. I don't know anything about, um, the other two that's not an anime yet, right? Because, um, I've seen some of Johnny and, um, Gyro, but I don't know what really happens. But I can guess what happens, because I've seen enough JoJo to understand what happens in JoJo. <laughs> oh, God! No! No, no, no! Oh, sorry, sorry! Out of the way! Bam! America! Americans! Shut up! Don't go, my God! Jay! Jay! What do you mean you so dark? Have you seen Will Smith? Will Smith ain't that dark? That man lighter than me! Is he? No, we're the, we're, we're the same tone. We're, we're, we're the same tone. Ah! I'm a little darker than Kid. Yeah. 
Okay. Yeah, do your best. Do your best, sir. Ah! Oh, right, whatever. Uh, yeah, so there were my war mode. There were ACDC. Now, the hardest one. So, their goal was to get the mask, by the way. And they got the mask. Cars got the mask. Cars put that mask on their face, and that man became everything. Everything as in, he became the ultimate, like, life form on in this world. You can't kill something like that. You just can't. They, 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 yeah, the, the ultimate life form of everything earthly? Man, they couldn't kill it. So Jonathan had a plan. He's a very smart guy. Even though he's a comic relief. He took the plane, which this man is not good at planes either. He, they never tell him he didn't crash a plane. He took the plane. And he pretty much... Was it a plane or a bomb? Because Ben Stonehand loves bombs. He used a bomb and uh... Couldn't think of what happened. All I know is they had to get cars. They couldn't just kill him, right? So they had to get, just get rid of him in general. Kind of like, um, putting Austin Powers into a freezing, um, thing to, to get rid of. Like, Demolition Man style. So, they had... They threw him into space. Damn it! I couldn't, I couldn't figure out a different way to say it. No, keep him in! They threw him into space. And he froze in space. Because he, he can't be every, He can't be all that he is in space. Because remember, he's an earthly being of benevolence. Not benevolence. That man, was, that man didn't give a damn about nothing. And boy, did he hate Joseph. Because <laughs> Joseph just thwarted his plans. Um. Yep. Um. Got, yep. Joseph. I think Joseph got rid of the hardest boss or antagonist in a JoJo series. I think he was the hardest. Don't even get me started on Enrico Pucci. Because I hated that guy for a different reason. And I will get to that. Eventually, because I know a lot of you probably didn't watch Stone Ocean, and I'm going to explain to you Stone Ocean in the quickest form ever, because there wasn't a lot going on in the first place. Um, so that's the end of two. All right, I'm not even going to explain Jotaro Dark. Should I? Should I? No. It was long as hell. It was a lot of running around. Um, Jotaro didn't even want to get bothered, even when his uncle said so. It wasn't until his, his mama had to get hurt for him to get involved. He was angsty. He was aggravating. I think, um, I'm going to say his name wrong. Kakuin? That's how I say his name. Probably Kakuin. I don't care. Kakuin sounds better. I like that one. It's, it, 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 it. Anyways, his eyes got scratched out at one point. Um, um, he was out of commission for a minute. Pona Rift. Him and is it gold? Him and gold from Street Fighter went to the same hairdresser. Abdul died and came back. Um, there was a baby. There was a baby that Kakuin made um eat his own crap because he was a he had a stand. That was hilarious. Um <laughs> Joseph got a stand, kinda. He got vines. He had vines that still uses his premonition skill because you know your stand usually coincides with something about you. Um, and, you know, your personality, I guess. I don't know. I'm trying to understand, um, uh, I, I, I'm trying to understand, um, Jolene's one right now with the strings. I don't know. I guess it, I guess it's still, uh, 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 addresses daddy issues? I don't know. Anyways, um, Jotaro. I'm not explaining that one. He had to deal with Dio because his grandpa got, his mom was hurt, and his dad was knocked out. They realized Dio took Jonathan's body. That was the problem. He took his body, and Dio was the one causing problems because with the Jotaro's, or with the Jotaro's, with the Jojo's bloodline still being around, or Dio's existence was hurting his mom. That's why she was sick, or hurting. Because, oh my god, come on! Because Jotaro, um, because Dio. Dio, they had the body. And they gained stands in this season? They gained the stands and it was expecting his mom. Because usually, you know, she's also a, a Jojo. So she was getting affected, but in a, it, was, it was hurting her. I don't know. I guess she wasn't strong enough for that. 
little stand she would have. Everything about her was like, she was so nice and great. Kind of like how you would think her, um, her grandpa, her dad, her grandpa, her dad, her, the grandpa, her. Anyways, Jonathan. She kind of reminded me of Jonathan with how nice she was. But she was like also a pushover. That's why she had a demon of a child, Jotaro. Sorry, he's not my favorite Jotaro, all right? I mean, my favorite Dojo. He's a demon. <laughs> Goodness. Sorry, I was just, I was holding my breath. I need to breathe. There we go. You mother... Oh no, my head, my headphones. My headphones, not my headset. My brother came back. I brought him back. With my powers. Uh, yeah, so Jotaro... Dio, Dio's like, ah, this dude is, this, this, this. Dio can stop time, and he's like, ah, nobody can stop time but me. Oh, Jotaro can also stop time. So now he's like, oh, God, no. He thought he had the world's strongest stand because he had the world, which is also a tarot card. They used, first they used, like, oh, God. What did they use at first? Were they all tarot cards at first? There were tarot cards the second time, I think. I don't know. It's, there's like two different sections to this thing. I don't know. Anyways, it's, it's too long for me to care about to explain all of it. Anyways, I want to hurry up and get to my favorite arc, which is Diamonds Unbreakable. I'll talk about that one all day. Come on now. Josuke is my favorite. He's my favorite uh, JoJo. Anyways, they get rid of Dio, the, the vampire, brought him to the sun finally, because remember, he's a regular vampire. Okay, get away from me! So he, um, oh, my music is gone. Oh, it's, it's, it's trying to go. My head, oh, hold on. Give me a second, guys. And not you, not you guys on the thing, but what, what is that? Oh, it says player one. I'm like, what is that? Where is it? I need my other headphones. These are dying. Oh, yeah, so like, um, yeah, to get rid of Dio, he thought his grandpa died. Grandpa's fine. Grandpa, as in Joseph. Um, Jotaro and Joseph are grand. Grand. Where are my headsets? Oh my god, my headsets are not even in here. Oh, goodness. I need my car here in my car. Oh, that sucks. Good thing I have a smoothie juice to drink. Give me a second. Uh, all right back in the game guess i don't have music i'll be here depressed without it but i can't charge my headset the freaking controller's using it all right back to things all right whatever deal blah 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 uh mom's fine moving on my favorite art okay i guess i'll start when i come back all right, my favorite Jojo arc. This is arc four. Diamonds Unbreakable. Now, this is why people make jokes about... They have to make jokes about um, the Jojo series and like, oh, they're gay or whatever. They look the way they dress, chest out. And I'm like, first off, you call it what you want. I call it confidence, all right? Not everybody wears their chest out in this fashion. Also, it's fashion. I mean, Iraqi love drawing fashion clothes like you know fashion um you know, model type like high fashion type fashion like the ones you see in the magazine which is usually high fashion unless you're going to places like regular people go like walmart and stuff so you're looking at like you know high fashion clothes or whatever anyway this is where you get a lot of inspiration for clothing for plus if you're making like twenty thousand, he, he loves character design if you didn't notice every jojo series has twenty thousand characters in it you kidding me you're gonna run out of you need to get some cool clothes. Come on now. I know most stories have very basic clothes, but he loved character design and it shows. He has so many characters and so many clothes in design. Anyways, Josuke. Favorite Jojo. Josuke is the illegitimate child of Joseph. Now, this is not 
Young Joseph? Because Josuke is younger than Jotaro. Who is his uncle, by the way? Josuke is uh, Jotaro's. Uh, uh, Jotaro, Jotaro is Josuke's uncle. Wait, no! Jo technically! <laughs> Technically, technically, no, Josuke is Jotaro's uncle, but Josuke is like 16. Josuke is 16 and Jotaro's like, I don't know, he's, he's an adult now. So he went out to Mario, which is where he lives. Um, Josuke lives, this is Josuke's area. He's there now. I'm not even talking about the whole premise of Dio stuff. I just want to tell you about the Jojo's, those are more fun. I, I can't get by with this dude, man. Everything is blowy uppy. I just need shooty and get throughy. Okay, shooty and get throughy with you then. Get out of my face with all that! He's gonna kill his own friends. He don't even need me. Okay, yeah. So, just okay. Pretty much, Jotaro went over there to say, Hey, uh, my grandpa is getting old, and I was told to come over here and tell you, you got a hand in the inheritance because you're the illegitimate child he had that we never knew. Pretty much. Also, Josuke's mom is like, they're still ready for this dude if he ever comes back. <laughs> I'm just gonna put it like that. She'll still be with it if he was like, you know, willing to come back and like be with her. His mom is hot, by the way. I don't know how old she is, but she's hot. She's a oh, she 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 ain't a um, but she ain't no Holly, which is Jotaro's mom and Holly. She ain't Holly. She's not benevolent and nice. She'll knock him on the side of the head in a minute. I'm like, you know what? It feels familiar. <laughs> but Josuke always doing something. He sucks at video games, by the way. I think that's adorable. Because Joe, um, Joseph, all Joseph also, also terrible at video games. So that's something they have in common. So, uh, yeah, so after Jotaro tells him, hey, you know, inheritance, you got a hand in it because we didn't know you existed. So you and my mom are pretty much just two kids. And he's like, oh, no, don't worry about that. I'm, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not trying to be bothered with all that. He's like, don't worry about me. Because he don't want, you know, he's, he don't want to, Josuke don't want to cause trouble or anything. Even after like first episode when his uh, superior classmates or upper classmen, I don't know, the, the, the bigger kids, the quote unquote, was messing with him and like hurt a turtle or something. He didn't want to bother, but it wasn't until they hurt. Them. I'm like, what is happening in this level? It wasn't until they messed with the turtle that he got involved. Um, two important things about uh, uh Josuke. One, yes, he does look like a delinquent because he is. Um, <laughs> he's dressed like a delinquent, and I love it. I looked it up. I think that's like a, a, an 80s style. The way he dresses is an actual dress style in Japan. I'm with it. I, I love that. Even though he dresses like that, he wears gaiters. I think that's cool. It's pretty fancy. <laughs> I don't know a lot of them wear. Doesn't Jotaro also wear gaiters? Anyway. Um. Josuke is like, he don't want, he don't want any trouble. He just try to just be a good kid and just do things the right. He has, he has manners, you yeah. know. Anyways, don't talk about his hair. He'll get a fit. Um, Kishibe Rohan figured that out. Also, Koichi. For some reason, we're following Koichi. Koichi becomes his friend just by, you know, association. Um, of Jotaro. They both, they both had, they both knew Jotaro. So, he made Jotaro, um, I could get Jotaro. Jotaro! Because, you know, when Jotaro was looking for him, they both kind of found out who the heck Josuke was. Because I don't think Uncle Ichi know who Josuke was either. Koichi! You've probably seen him. He's a little yay high guy that you always see with the white hair. You kind of see him um, help, help out Jotaro more than you see Josuke, which is pretty interesting to think about. But Koichi became a very important character. Because you also see him at the beginning of Golden Wind. Him and Jotaro are talking because, you know, in the first episode, he meets um, Jotaro. 
Anyways, we get okay. Uh, so the whole Dio, the why Dio even exists situation carries on to this world, and everybody's moving along. Um, you don't see it. Do you see it? You don't see that Dio, but my favorite bad guy, my most favorite bad guy is on this one. People say he's the worst, but I'll tell you who's the worst bad guy. I gotta talk about him. Out of all the side characters that come up, I gotta talk about this guy. But my favorite bad guy is Yoshi Kage Kira. Just because I know he's a serial killer. It's a it's a tendency he had all his life. But the crazy thing is, this man just want a regular life. That's it. He's messed up. He know he's messed up. That's nothing new. It's just, it's just, he's really trying to live a simple life. But because he's me he knows he's messed up and all that, he has these tendencies. But he really just want to, just want to be regular. And I think, man, oh no, this is a boss level. I just remembered. This is gonna suck. Cause I hate this one. I gotta get up here first. Um, yeah, he just want to live a regular life. And his death. Uh, his this man dies not by a JoJo, but by an accident, a, re a legit accident. Somebody ran over his head to the point that the animation shows his head twisting from the wheel turn of being ran over. That is wild! Oh god, I gotta move! No, I don't. I I need to live a little at least. But, uh, yeah, this man died from a car accident. Do I? Oh my god, Gene Pot! He the one that died by the ambulance? Yeah, he died by the ambulance. They backed up on him. Actually, he physically died by the ambulance. But, you know, he meant he, like, finished dying, you know, another way, right? He died from that one alley with the one girl, the first kill he ever had as a serial killer? You mean he died by her? Well, not by her. He died by the rules of the alley, technically. That man died by lore. That's still my favorite. He died by lore. Not by a Jojo. Oh, I'm dead! I'm dead! Are you kidding me? Oh, okay. Well, okay. I, I passed it. I hate that one. I hate that one more than the beating the dude, the devil at the end. Wait, something down here? Oh, great. Okay. Come here. Uh, assassinate. Got it. They go this game being weird. See, this is the transitions. You see that? Yeah, that's my man. He's like the chewest fingers. He became two people. Yeah, I could talk about more about the series, but remember, with Oh, no! I forgot about this! We're summoning up, Jojo! <laughs> I messed it up. I messed it up. Yeah, we're summoning up, Jojo, so I'm not gonna give you bits and pieces. But I will say, the worst person in all of this Jojo series is Angelo, the first guy he has to deal with. You wanna know why? Uh, it's gonna get a little graphic. I'm gonna think I explain. I'm gonna try to explain in the less graphic way possible. Angelo is the worst. One, this man killed for fun. There's nothing worse than killing for fun. Usually most people have a reason. Yoshi Kage Kira had a reason. He, was a, he, he had a tendency. He was just a killer in it. He was a serial killer on the inside. And he laid hands. Also that. That's just a habit. This dude, Angelo, killed for the hell of it. He, he kidnapped a child. Oh my god. He kidnapped... Little the kid, the the one that it, the, the one that the story explained, he kidnapped little boys, killed them, assaulted them, cut off an important part of their body, and hammered it. What is happening? I'm doing it right. And he nailed it against a wall. Now that's one thing to uh, uh, kill somebody, but why did you have to do all that extra stuff? Angelo is the one he turned into a rock, by the way. Oh, God damn it! I missed the ladder. He's the one that, he's the one he turned into a rock. Now, Josuke didn't kill anybody, which I felt like Angelo should have been killed, but also Angelo tried to die. In order to get these stands, you have to, like, kind of die in a sense. Like Koichi, when he got shot by one, thank Okoyasu, listening to his brother, Nakimura. God damn it! Why did it slide me over? I didn't do that! 
Yeah. I'm using a D-pad, by the way. I'm not using a control stick. I'm not a psychopath. I know how to play this game right, but it's not working out for me! Oh my god, I wasted a time. I wasted another time. I don't have any more time! I have one more time. Well, I needed all three of them. Anyways, Angelo, worst, worst villain out of- Nope, he's not the worst one. There's a scary worst one. Who actually, his had a- You know, he's the worst one on this one, okay? I'm gonna say that. But yeah, he dies then. Only people that died in this one was the Shigechi and the one lady that owned the, the shop, but that's about it. Nobody, nobody else really died. Anyways, moving on. Um, everybody about died in the other ones. That's the, that's the insane part about- Why? Where the hell am I supposed to go? It don't make that sound. Nothing happened. I think once it starts to like die down, I gotta do it again. What the? What the? Oh God! I think I remember. I think I remember. Hold on, let me do this real quick. I think I remember this part. Yeah, I did it! Die on my face! Yeah. Um. I don't have any more. Son of a mother. I'm not gonna make it! <laughs> oh, shut up! You can do it! Oh my god, this one gets hellish. I gotta get out of here. Oh my god, all of these places are gonna die! Oh god! Oh, no, 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 no! Oh, I was doing so well. I thought it gets hellish. I was at the end. But, uh. Alright, whatever. Golden Wind. Um, alright, Golden Wind. Um, Juno is technically Dio's never. Um, one of the girls that Dio used to mess with, alright? That's his, um, that, that's his child. Technically a Jojo, because remember, Dio took Jonathan's body. So he has a stand. And there's different ways to get a stand. We learned that in the Jojo's art, when at one time, there's one, there's one enemy that tried to make him little, tried to make Jojo little. And like, ah, oh, he's not gonna have his stand. Yeah, every uh, so and so got his stand when he was older. So as a child, he would be standless. No, Jojo kind of got his stand as a child. He was born with his. Well, he didn't have a stand. He didn't have um platinum, star platinum, but he was strong as hell. <laughs> so I don't know. I, I can't remember if he still had his stand or not. Anyway, he was still a force to be reckoned with even as a child. So like I said, demon. Um, that's the ones. There's another box that's hidden. I know there's one more. Anyways, um, so you don't know. Um, he can change things into natural things. He also can heal. He doesn't fight too much, but my God, is he his father's child? Or daddy's child? I don't know what to call it. He wasn't around, so he didn't care to know him either. His mom sucked. Although, apparently she was really young, and she's like, Oh, I had a child young, I wanna live life. What's to leave that child by himself at home? Which... He was always a quiet child, too. I was like, oh, poor him. He had black hair, by the way, when he was younger. And when he got older, and I guess his stand kind of really activated, he, uh, his hair turned gold. I guess from the whole, um... From the whole, um, Dio thing and stands and all that and everybody getting affected by it stuff, you know? So there's that. They're about to die. Shut up! I hate him. Oh, three piggies! Oh, okay. Can I get the pig again? He's dead. Can't help him. My feet are fast! I must be wearing some shucks! Or some K-Swiss! 
She's from the 80s, so I'm trying to think about shoe brand. She didn't have Jordans, because, well, I'm pretty sure she didn't care about that on an alien ship. This guy just wore his outfit all the time. <laughs> um. Yeah, so he wanted to become the mafioso of all the mafiosos. He's like, I want a better life. Why not? I want to be the mafioso of all the mafiosos. So he tried to get in the right way. You know, by the, the big, the big guy, or whatever. That's how he met uh, Brut, uh, Brutacci. Br 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 Bruno. He met Bruno. I'm calling by his first name. I ain't got time to deal with that last name. Bruno. He met Bruno. Who, oh, for some reason, I, I've never seen the part where he licked him. They're all dead. Oh no, not this part. No, no, I'm not ready for them yet. <laughs> Why now? Something's going down. They're already dead. I just got here. Yeah, see this? Yep. Sorry, I just, I, I, I didn't care. Uh oh. But uh, yeah. Uh, so he wanted to be the best of the best. Um. Who's my favorite character in this one? I do like Mista and his whole thing about the number four, which I think it's true in uh, some Japanese law. Oh my god! I died? In Japanese lore, the whole four being an unlucky number. And the little crybaby bullet. Please go get me, star. Um. Get him! Okay. I had to calm down for a second. I'm getting a little insane. What is this building? Why didn't your bullets in the last one? There we go. That's the problem. Don't they all like burst? Um, yeah. Who is it? Diavolo? Bad guy Diavolo? They call him boss. You know, um, Risotto and all of them call him boss. So they're causing problems. They deal with, um, um, the group members. I didn't mention the group members from the second one. I didn't mention the group members from them! Oh, whatever, we're summing up just there. So Misa's one of my favorite. Bruno dies. Abaccio, Moody Jazz, and part of the, one of the best songs on here is, a uh, Torture Song. Um, Bruno dies, Abatio dies, Narancha dies, um, Morgan, um, what's his name? Mr. The one that got purple haze. What's his name? It's not Chojo. Uh, 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 it's something. Him. He, he, did he get, he, uh, you know, his backstory is this man. Did he get sexually assaulted or he almost got sexually assaulted? And he's like he ain't been right ever since. Um, poor baby. But he, <laughs> he's always been the rancha. But then again, they're I mean they're in a they're in, they're in a mafia group. I wouldn't expect them to always be uh nice and and uh you know stuff. Anyways, what about Sergey Weaver? Sergey Weaver. I can't say her name. Anyways, we all got these guns. All right, do you have? You killed the other one, though. Um, wait, were they always here? Or are we just a, are we doing this another time? I'm so confused. Daddy, hurry, come on! Speed that up. At least I do something. <laughs> Aliens? I'm good with aliens. I'm Jay from Men in Black. That's exactly how he talk. He says, "I am Jay from Men in Black." That's exactly how that works out. Again, why is he this dark? Wait, Mr. T is on point. That one makes sense. Not, not, not Will Smith's character. He wasn't that dark.
Then again, if you're gonna be brown black, I guess you'll go with the appropriate amount of black for the title. Cause I'm technically a brown. Technically speaking, I guess. My brother! My brother came back. Oh god! I need to go! <laughs> I'm sorry, Mafioso. Oh, uh, he wanted to become the best Mafioso. But he got rid of that one boss. I can't think of the big dude that the first one. Now, that was Bruno and them boss. He didn't. Uh, you know, Juno. You know, he didn't want. I don't think he wanted Juno to join. I don't know. But he was like, "All right, bruh." So, oh God, uh, all at once. So, like his daddy, he got rid of the problem. The one dude that was keeping him from joining. Then they found out their boss is dead and whatever, and it's like, all right, whatever. And then Bruno was like, well, I guess it gotta be me. Yeah, because it can't be Mr. Mr.'s a little. Anyways, um, Diavolo gives him a job. You know, the boss the boss of bosses is apparently Diavolo. Diavolo, um. So Diavolo has two personalities. One from, is one of them is Dopio. If you know, if you ever heard of Dopio, it's Dopio. Who sounds like a psychopath, you know? But uh, how do I explain? I can't, I cannot explain Dopio. I just know. So. It's a, it's, um, how do I explain Dopio? Dopio is his alter itself, right? And when he speaks, Diavolo speaks to Dopio, it's usually in his head. And Dopio answers or listens to him by picking up any inanimate object, usually something alive, or m most of the time, and talks to him. He he's talking to him in his head. It's like he needs a physical object to actually talk, to like hear him and not lose his mind. But when it sounds like a phone is ringing, Dopio makes the phone sound. Uh, Dopio is the phone sound. He is the most outrageous character and perfect for any JoJo series. <laughs> it's perfect. It's perfect JoJo humor. Cause you're like, what the hell is going on? And that's, that's, that's JoJo! It's like, what the hell and why? Love it. I love the why. Why is this happening and never an answer. Although some things have an answer. There's a lot of questions and answers in JoJo. A lot of it. But don't feel like comic. Um, so at the end, um, so Diavolo can like just, there's a part where he does a transition where we actually find out that D Dopio is Diavolo. I mean, they have the hair color the same, I don't think they have the same eye color. I think Di Diavolo's eyes are green with pink hair, and I think Dopio's eyes are also pink. Dopio seems so nice and innocent though, so. Ah, you mother! Me, God my cave. Get off my ship! No, oh, okay, Pa. It's been a nice time to have Dirty Harry. Harry! Then again! Blade! I killed things that ain't um, human! Oops, I need this. Yeah, I'm not dealing with that. Don't get caught in that! No! No! I'm gonna do my thing! My thing! Oh, wait, hold on. Dang it! I wanna do it! Hold on. There we go. I hate when the acid stuff is here. It's so annoying. <laughs> we have a Diavolo. Uh, we see Paul up again in a wheelchair. That's pretty funny. 
Then he gets stuck in the turtle forever. Also funny. Um. So the ones that live is Mista and Giordano. Gets rid of Diavolo. He gets golden um golden experience. That's his stand upgrades. He gets golden experience. So uh, yeah. Oh no. I gotta be Sigourney Weaver, and one of them. What's this? Purge the alien hive. Oh no. I think I am Sigourney Weaver in this one. I got the weird screen. Not want to show up. I, mean, I mention that every time because it's it's just wild. That's why it's to not show up. No, oh, I am getting hungry. I didn't eat anything. But I have a smoothie I keep drinking, so I should be fine for now. Get out of my way! You mother- This ain't even hard mode, I don't get it! This is gonna be so annoying! I don't have to be here, but I want to! Yeah, yeah, yeah. What? Now I see that. Oh, Stone Ocean. Um, sum it up. Um, Jolene, daddy issues, gets caught in jail, not because she did the crime, but because she was protecting her boyfriend. You know, teenage stuff. So she took the fall. She realized he betrayed her, and he really set her up. And now she wants to get out and go, like, you know, end him. Which is appropriate for being set up. You thought you were helping some sub save somebody's life, but really, here you are. Being a cop out, or being set up, set up. So, uh. There she is, going to jail in Florida! Which is pretty hilarious to think about. I used to live in Florida. It's pretty funny that that's where she went to jail. <laughs> I don't know, Florida is just funny. You know, like the new GTA is gonna be in Florida. God, come on! You're kidding me, I'm rock, I'm dying by the stupidest things. I don't like it, I don't like it, I don't want it. I gotta slow down. I gotta slow down. All right. Uh. Yeah. She learns the ropes quick. Um, how to be in a prison. She's in a prison, by the way. She gets a visitor, and lo and behold, it's her father she haven't seen since she was child. It is like, come on. I'm gonna get you out of this place. I come to get you out. And she was like, nah, I'm good. I ain't see you all this time. And all of a sudden you wanna be around me? Nah, I'm dude. I want you to suffer. Be sad that you haven't seen me. That's pretty much the energy she was giving off. Then her mind changes whenever, you know, whenever her old man, which she calls him, um, to come to the bad guy in this one, Enrico Pucci. His character name is White Snake. He pretty much. So he takes a memory. Oh no, I got. He takes the memory out of your head and turns it into a compact disc, which is a CD. Well, mind you, this story is set in 06. Is this story set in 06? It might be later, I don't know. But your, your mind, your your memory gets set into a compact disc that he keeps. And he can input it into himself or anybody else. He can pretty much take your stand and give your stand to somebody else. Oh, wait, I, I realize why I really... <laughs> not excited. Anyways, um, she gets help from a kid. I'm trying to remember his name, because he was supposed to be rumored the main character in this very new one that came out. What's the name? R... Something needs to happen. 
happened in order for me to progress. Oh, come on! The stupidest thing! I tell you! So I want to get I want to get to Enrico's story. That's the only that's the one thing in this whole series that I'm I want to talk about. So there's this character, the main guy is named Enrico Pucci, right? He is some kind of priest of some benevolent crap bull crap that I don't believe. No, come on! God damn it! Um, he was born. Twin, right? So, what the? F mm. <sighs> he was born a twin, but apparently, um. Uh, so there was a woman who had a baby, right? But her baby died at childbirth, and she was very, very sad about it. And the same day, his mom, or Enrico Gucci, his mom gave birth to him and his twin brother. Well. When the babies were put in like the little, you know, the little nursery area. The woman who was so stricken with sadness about her baby dying, took one of the twins and switched it with the dead baby. Right? So, technically in Enrico, or in, in Pucci, grew up without his twin brother, right? Cool, got that part? All right, cool. So, I don't know what's supposed to happen exactly. Is he supposed to die? No! 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 Get off of me! God damn it! There's no way to get it off! I was so close! The big dude is supposed to die, I think, but it's... It, 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 shut up! You're not helping! I hate this level! This is the level I was getting stuck at! Oh no, why did I break that one? They shouldn't bring more, right? Hold on, hold on, I'm holding my breath. So, in a rush to get the hell out of here. Good God! It makes it on hard mode. It gets, a, it gets so annoying on hard mode. Alien pheromones unlock. Oh, I hate that. Hate that a lot. The infestation is. Oh yeah, I gotta do a big one for that one. Any more? Any more little things I don't know? So, yeah, twin brother, right? So fast forward, bigger, maybe teenage years. So now, um, Pucci works in a church, right? And somebody had a confession. Oh my God, my alarm again. Somebody has a um, confession. 
that they want to make. And uh, this woman, it's the same woman who stole a kid when she was younger and she explained how she had a confession about how she stole a kid and how the kid that she has belongs to this so-and-so family, which is Poochie's family. And realized, oh my god, that's my twin brother. He keeps his information to himself, by the way. You selfish son of a bitch. He kept it to himself. He didn't tell his family or nothing like, oh, my brother's still alive or anything like that. Also, you know, okay, so whenever I explain what his, what his brother is, you'll... Continue in the story. Um... <laughs> It's just, it's very interesting. So, continue the story. So he has a, he has a little sister, right? I guess the mom just decided to have more kids eventually. So he has a little sister. I forgot her name. It doesn't matter how, what her name is anymore. She's dead. Um, I don't know what time period this is, but it has to be like further back. But he has a little sister. She, like, him and his sister went to this, like, diner or some kind of store or whatever, a restaurant, I don't know, someplace. And they see this guy, and she's like, oh my god, he's kind of cute. This guy has, like, white, long, long white hair. I forgot what his real name was. I just know what his name is that we learn. But, uh, she likes him. And she's like, oh, I want to start dating him and stuff. Now, uh... You know, they start, you know, they just start talking or whatever and dating. And next thing you know, it's just like, oh, I really like him and all. And, you know, they just started dating for a while then. Now, eventually, Poochie comes to find out that, oh, this is my twin brother. That the guy that the little sister likes is his twin brother, which is technically their family, which is technically, if they get together, it's, uh, you know, an abomination. <laughs> you know, he's a priest. That's the word he would use, right? It's an abomination to the whole idea of them being together. They can't be together. And he always just kept saying, you two can't be together. This is not okay. And he never explained why. I didn't understand that. It's his fault. Everything is out of whack. He didn't explain to his siblings. Hey, your siblings. I don't know what kept him from saying that. He didn't explain it, which makes him the worst person. So, it gets worse. So... So, you can't tell, but Enrico is black, right? Dark skin. His brother is technically very fair. He has very fair skin. I was going to say light skin, but no, he's he's more than that. He's, he's anime color skin, all right? He has anime color skin. So, you wouldn't be able to tell they were twins. I, think, I guess they're fraternal. Brodoc, James Brodoc. Uh, I'm not sure what movie reference that is. Somebody tell me if you know. I know it's Chuck Norris, though. That must have been uh, before Walker. I uh, see. Assuming. Uh, yeah, so So he's he's They're pretty much are they just mixed yeah because the sister has just fair skin too So they're both mixed technically it's just Poochie has darker skin so I don't know how the hell they knew But when his him and his sister were out Oh um, or the the twin brother and the little sister were out some very racist characters came through and decided, oh, we don't like this black and white stuff going on. They didn't know nothing about them being related, by the way. We don't like this black and white stuff going on. So, they, I think they stabbed him. I don't know if they hung him. I think they hung him and threw him in the river over the cliff that they were near. And she felt... She loved this dude so much, she jumped behind him, and she couldn't swim. I guess she died it too? I don't know. It was a big cliff, but he was, he was technically hung. He was dead before he went down. I guess she died in the water. So, fast forward the story, because this character is up and walking now in this now time. So the messed up part is that, his, the, you know, besides him dying from the whole thing, he, he could have said, was y'all related, please don't date. 
that and but the the reason he died was different from just from him being the incest part. It was about the the race part, which was messed up. But anyways, so this character, the twin brother of Enrico Pucci, is Weather Station. Weather Station is the one. God, it's loud. Oh my God, it's still loud. It's the one character on um, Stone Ocean that doesn't talk. The one with the white hair. The cool white hair. Is it, no, his name is Weather Report. Isn't it Weather Station? Whatever, his stand is... One of them is Weather Report, one is Weather Station. Either way, it's 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 the one's the stand and one's the human, okay? Oh my god. Why? I was right there! What? Wait, what? Why is there a checkpoint right there? Mind your face! Oh, get out of my face. Shut up, there's aliens! Get off, devil! You butthole! <laughs> Don't laugh at that, huh? Uh, yeah! So now, weather report. Who forgot his memories, by the way. Um. He, um, Poochie took his- Poochie, his own brother, took his memories away and just left him just walking his earth. Um, I don't know how he came back exactly, but all he know is he did come back. And usually when you get a stand, in that sense, you usually die and come back with a stand. So he just came back and he just knew, man, I gotta kill a man. <laughs> he gotta kill Poochie. Actually, no, I think Poochie told- Pucci snitched that they were dating. That's how the, the racist um, people came through and found him. Pucci snitch. I'm like, why would you do that, dude? You could have just told your sister that, you know, you can't date your brother. If it wasn't her brother, he wouldn't have cared. But he could have just said, I can't date. We're related. You're my twin, lo long lost twin brother. Or sorry, kidnapped twin brother. You know, something like that. He didn't do that. Nah, he just decided to create chaos. He's a priest, by the way. Don't you know, but never did again. The reason he's a main character is because he owns the prison that Jolene goes to. If that is, if, no, that, that that prison is not a fun prison. Um, yeah. It's funny enough, Weather Station is not even part of the prison. He's uh, he's in that that one um area that uh what is that dude name? They got a Eno in it. Ar Armino? Ar Ar Armino? No, no, no. That's that's, that's like Hermes' his first name, huh? He's kicking his little legs. Uh, yeah. So. His main thing was gonna kill Eureka. But anyways, the whole world gets messed up. The little kid is the only one who can deal because everybody else is dead. I'm like, wow, Jotaro's dead? Finally! Only took three different sets. Sorry, I, I don't hit him that much. Do I? You know, he was kind of hot in that one, I will say. He was wearing Mardi Gras colors and everything. He was kind of hot. His face looked different because, you know, the style changed. You know, um... Oh, God. The style that it was in this one was equivalent to the Josuke's and all them, so... They didn't go with Jotaro style, the... Man, if you want to see what Josuke was supposed to look like according to the, the actual manga, my god. Get off my head! I hate this! I can't do anything about it! Um, he had a grown man face. He did not look... 16. Why is this dude still alive? I don't even- Oh, I'm wasting my time! <laughs> oh yeah, uh, Rico's, uh, I hate him. Also, he did all of this- He was- The whole premise of him is he was following Dio's, um, like, path, because, you know, you can call him Dio's boyfriend if you wanted to. I don't know if he was. I mean, knowing Dio, he can have anybody. Dio is a great guy, you know? Or he's that guy. He don't have anybody. I don't know. But they do do, uh, that they do do. They show flashbacks of him and Enrico kind of hanging out. I call him hanging out. I don't know. Enrico was like really young. Like childlike. 
So he was doing Dio's bidding. That was his resolve. Dio's bidding. And I'm like, oh, you mean your boyfriend that left you? Oh, okay. That was some unrequited love there. Maybe you don't like straight love. I don't know. <laughs> I don't understand how we go. Maybe you don't like straight people. <laughs> That'll be funny. I mean, he was angry because Dio's dead. Now, that's one reason he he kind of like um bothered um Jolene. It was was it some book he was looking for? I don't know if it was a book or something he was looking for, but Jolene was in the way, you know, because Dio, his boyfriend, said so. He was doing everything his boyfriend said. I hated that guy. I hated him. I still hate him. I'm almost mad at it. Samuel Jackson quote. Oh. Oh, I can't do this. I gotta go down some more. Damn it. I thought I was good. My God. Um. What did happen? <laughs> I don't get it. I can't be the boss, huh? I know, I know what the boss is when we're getting there. Oh, um, boss, the boss, the boss, boss, boss. Here we're getting there. Die. You mother. Um. What's her name? Yeah. Um. Well, of course, dies right away. Well, everybody dies technically. World starts over. Then the most I know about um. <laughs> Blazing Saddles. I'm like, that's not a, that's not an anime. It's a movie with Gene Wilder. Now, why? Again? They're so stupid. You're stupid. Man, 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 I should have threw the bombs, but it wouldn't have made a difference. It's so annoying. I keep thinking, what is that sound? But it, I, I'm looking at it. Oh, yeah, I feel the same way about dread. Um, what do I know about? Um, oh my god, what is it called? Still going red, my god. I don't know, Johnny ain't got no got no legs. Oh, he got legs. He don't work too well. Gyro has a mozzarella song. He also, Gyro, has his name engraved on his teeth. Which is one of the most badass things that nobody needed to do. No Zeppelis, man. He's a Zeppelin, by the way. You already know his face. What the hell? He ate me. Oh my god, I want to do a thing, but I got another side! It's just possible. He can't turn around, I don't think. Let me try this. Time cop would be very helpful. Why? Uh, I just gotta stay away, I guess. Oh, I just get him in his mouth, I guess. I want to get lower. Right, can I get McGruber? I'm about to lose Neo. And 
And then the last, the last one with Josuke, uh, I don't know what the problem is on the next one, on the, on the, still ball run. You just know. Sorry, with a chip, a Zephyli. You know what happened to Zephylis? MacGruber. Here we are, McGrubin. Thank you. Jeez. Now I'm gonna start here. I don't wanna go in here. It's disgusting. That's hilarious. <laughs> Sounds nasty. Don't swallow it, you butt. Yeah, he's the main event. He's the most annoying main event. Well, actually, he's the least annoying out of all the main events that happen. Oh god, I almost died. That's, that's Chuck Norris of all people! I don't need your handout. I should have stayed in him, huh? You can't hit him this way. I did this last time. I mean, you can't get him. He all back here and everything. And I can't leave. He needs to die. I think. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, hold on. Why is it so far? Dead. Can you tell? Can you back up a little? I could have been anybody else. Did she hit herself? Did she get hurt by herself? She gotta, she gotta crunch her mouth eventually. I'm in front again. Woman, it's far away. I got the marker behind her. That's not fair. Some bull. Oh god, the rocket's here. I hate the rocket's here. Kill me now.
If I win it with him, I still hate him! Come on, McLean! Oh, God damn it. Dang, it's harder. Kinda OP once you get up here. This is the big one. What was that sound? I hated that. Oh boy, it's about to get, about to get wild. Oh yeah, the last Jojo. His name is also Josuke Higashikata. Um, also, this man is two people in one. He's two people in one, and I think he still doesn't have his memories. He's two people in one. They, they created Josuke Higashikata. Yep, it gets weird. Ah! So this, that, the last, the, the, uh, the last completed the way. I have to still bow run. I forgot what it was called. I can't think of the name. I can't think of the, 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 the sub, the subtitle. Anyways, that one. That was, um, Araki kind of the one to make it like a love story. I don't know. All I know is this Josuke is, uh, lost his memories, doesn't really have a lot of friends, I think. He, or maybe he, cre he creates friends, because JoJo's a known to create friends and lose them. Um. Okay, I was trying to kill it, and my buttons weren't working. Everything dies of fire, are you kidding me? Except some Pokemon, apparently. Oh, that dude jumped over it. I mean, it's smart. I wouldn't. Away with you. Oh, God! Oh, God! Idiot. Oh, God. <laughs> uh, yeah, then his oh my god. His stand is called soft and wet. That's how you know you got a lot of characters. <laughs> well you got a stand called soft and wet. Um uh, Is his name soft is the name soft and wet or is that a skill of his? I think it's called soft and wet. I have a lot more questions about that, but that's for another time. Whenever I get more information about that. But still gonna run as the next anime one. If they were to do an anime. I don't care what happens to him. Oh, alright. Kick! Punch! Smack! Chuck Norris! Has nobody made a Chuck Norris song yet? Oh, Jay. Jay, why? Heh! Heh! What? I 
I don't want that. I don't want that. I just say. Oh my god, I don't want that. Rambo. Oh my god, it'll take forever to get there. Fine, let's go the normal way. You break it up, <laughs> It's like they knew what it was. But I know, I, I know who she is. She's if the if okay, old school charm. She's a. Uh... What's her name? Old school charm. What's her name? Rose. Rose McGowan. What's her name? Right. In real life, I think her name is Rose McGowan. I can only shoot straight if I press down with her. It's a nightmare. You can. Oh my god. She has a. Dread. He likes nothing more than the work. He has nothing else going on. You swear he's an android, but no, he's a person. Not my problem. Not my. Oh! He has one. He has. He has one move. Go! Oh god! Oh god! What's wrong with me? I forgot who I was. Oh no! Oh god! No! Machete! Machete! We gotta get out of here! He's gonna come back! I should stay blade, but I can use all the lives I can get, and this is about to suck. shoot very quick and her knives it's not you I was a gene clot could have been gene clot 
Haha, <laughs> you idiot! Oh my god, your friend's an idiot too! Get off me. You don't run too fast, bro. Oh, time to go! Oh god! Are you kidding me? Conan, it definitely as hell wasn't you. Saved by something? I could have sworn I had poison on me. Terror crawler! Yeah, uh huh. Again, does not work well with anything that's going on, apparently. That's the part I can't deal with, sir. Finished with the infestation, though, right? Oh my god, are you kidding me? Amazon in the Amazon terrestrialize them, terrestrialize them. Oh, extraterrestrial, I, I, I don't like that at all. Hi. You and your button! And your butt! Oh god. Oh goodness. I ain't know when this do anything. Get off! Nobody's safe! Anybody get it! No, oh, come on. Oh my god, why are they so alive? Okay, now nah, he's dead. That was annoying. Alright, let's go, Neo! We gotta do anything but pay taxes and die! Kinda. <laughs> Kinda. <laughs> oh god! Oh no! Why did I throw that? Dude, I'm there. Am I at the end of this already? I mean, not the end of the game. Pokemon, really? That's all I gotta say the wrong thing to say the right thing. Oh no! <laughs> Ooh, I have a power where I can just use that sword and just fly ahead real fast. Why don't I use it? That's satisfying to hear. 
a whole bunch of dead aliens. Sorry, not aliens, parasites. A whole bunch of dead parasites. Because parasites don't mean friend. Get him, the, the, the J, isn't it JV? <laughs> Oh god. Go, go! Oh god. There you go, bye. Oh god! What am I insane? I'm gonna get the rock first! Oh god. Don't drop rocks, don't drop rocks, don't drop rocks, don't drop rocks, get out the way, get out the way, get out the way, get out the way, get out the way. Get up! Mine. My brother died! <laughs> Why am I here? I can show off a little bit. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Universal Soldier! Yeah! Break it in for some reason. Yeah, they blow up. Why you, why you show that? I know what they do. They're insane, too. Oh, you kidding me? God, I don't want to be on the ground. Oh man, Harry! Harry! You don't run fast, sir. I stand by what I said. Oh my God, why? I'm Indiana Jones, and this is some bull. What is this? Oh, about the pheromones. Yeah, it's kind of better to be on the ground. According to this world, we're in. What is wrong with you? to suffer. I don't- they keep giving me dread. I don't want dread. I want to be happy. <laughs> Why am I still dealing with it after the fact? Three, two, one. Let's go. My name is Blade and I ain't got time for this. I ain't got time for anything. Nobody but me. Sing a Jill Scott song in a minute. Get out of my body! 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 Get out of my body!
Oh god, Neo, we gotta go. We don't even have guns, man. All we got is our hands. We only got what we got, bruh. I wasn't punching. I gotta punch more. I gotta stop being so nice. Mm-hmm, showed it. Huh? I got an exclamation point in there. Quiet down here. Oh, I hear his feet. Take my brother away. We think he is. I already lost one brother. I'm not gonna lose another. Happening. My name is Time Coppin. Good luck, everybody else. What the? What the? He got me in slow motion? In 120p? I don't even want the superpower. I forgot how to use it. That's what I'm saying. It's some bull. Give me a man with fire. Give me Baracus. Alright, ultimate soldier. He shoots in a... His special's a little different, so I can't just use his. Damn, yeah, man with fire! That's what I'm talking about! Well, if you like fire, come on down. Oh, my goodness. Red stuff tends to regenerate it, so it's it's something. It doesn't bother me. I don't want it. Should I be here? I only have so many bullets before I have to reload. Robux. Don't know what it says. I guess he comes from Mad Max. I don't know. Don't have a story on him. Any more story time? Anybody wants any more story time? setting coming up here mistake Side. Well, I did a good thing. You mother. 
even one or two more times. I think one of them is when I'm actually fighting the devil. Oh, uh, well, we know what a safe. Oh my God. Oh, thank you. Right away. Thank you. Uh Oh, this might be a boss. what that looks like because i don't like it i don't like that one a little too much of a uh, nature going on there oh please stop it's disgusting Oh, come on. Ah! Chuck Norris and Hillman Air! Please get my check mark, my check mark, my check mark. Ah, sweet check mark! Let's tear everything up now! It's pure chaos! You made me Jay! You knew what was gonna happen! I killed a roach man. I find Orion because he found me. He's a cat. I saved the cat. I'm a great person. Oh god, I can't get in. The heart! Hot off the hive! Oh, hot off the hive? Why do you say it like that? I thought he was American. He's like from somewhere else. Oh my god. Machete! parts I can get to. Do y'all hear Arnold in his voice? It's hilarious. Don't show me again, I know who he is. doing science here without our permission show them who's smartest <laughs> guns what is that that's that what you're trying to say oh my god it's already kindergarten two I don't 
don't get extra lives. This is the only life I have. I'm supposed to go down? What? I mean, bruh, you want me to get down? Get me down. The plan. I'm gonna get down, I know of it. Time consuming. Hey, I gotta go too. Here I am. Oh, God. No, 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 no. Oh, <laughs> where am I? Oh, oh, break, break. Cereal's not really food. It just makes you more hungry. I'm Indiana Jones! And, uh, this is... Bro Force. Bam! America! That's what I'm saying! You! Jackass! Hi. Stop it, you idiot! Wait. Uh-oh. Dang it! I was trying to get up there. But uh, I guess it's not happening. Maybe I'll get down there. You just say, ah, American, I'm out. Too close. I was too close. I know. Alright, this this thing is very strong. Hmm, okay.
Oh no. Ah, oh, these zippers all to live! There you go again, okay. Shoot him up! Shoot him up! Where is he? Oh, there's no extra one. Coming a problem. I don't know how you're gonna help. I kind of messed it up for you. Ow! Ow! Yeah, I'm gonna die. This is uh more annoying than it needs to be. Dang it! I love to do, just not doing it. It's a hindrance and a blessing.
why I'm doing it. When I can't do anything beyond that. Nah. I don't have to worry about the people no more. They're just trapped, okay? I don't have time. I, I, I gotta save the, 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 the greater good. Which is not them, apparently. They ain't doing me any greater from the greater goods. I'm trying to concentrate. Well, I can't get y'all over. I don't know what was the point of even saving y'all. Flex. Just a naked man, huh? Eh? Oh, you can't tell. Ah, oh, well, I can tell. This is a great sight. Here we go again. What? Lady Mion. I think that's all of them. Besides this one. This is the end, guys! Uh, humanized them! The United States of America! Oh, God. Here we go. America. America with no eyes, all A's. Cause America. Oh, shut up! I don't want to hear it. I don't care about the cutscene. The devil's on his way. Sorry, he doesn't go anywhere. The, the bullets on that one was great. Or the, the explosion on that one. Should I learn explosions? Maybe. I do have a building blow up. That is pretty fun. I need to get on this comic. But slacking. Yeah, but is he dead though? No, a little water man in here. <laughs> Never mind. I think I need to take a shower. I never take a shower. I don't want to take two showers. Uh oh, he got came. Uh, he came back to life. Did you just got a shocking machine? Are you shocky to death? Sorceress, they bring people back to life. That's the guys I was looking for. Not that I like them, but it's about to get real chaotic soon. Look how dead it is. Yeah, they bring little men back and they like throw stuff at me. gun people okay the last thing I need shut up Is that another one well, that was his last final wish to try to give me with that one that didn't help come on machete is right oh I wish I could have kept machete who am I gonna get now don't give me rocketeer don't give me rocketeer I don't want rocketeer okay 
I'm happy. Uh oh. There's people falling in the back. Is that by choice? Shut up. Did the dude just run down? Should I save you guys? You don't seem like you won't save him. Don't fall down there. Wait, before you go! You can't! I get the help of humans. Uh, him humans? Stop it! What the hell? No, I didn't like that in the first place. You know me, getting rid of things we don't need. He's dead. I want you to start this waterway. Go the way. That's nice. Yeah! Oh no, they spit out stuff. Boomer! Yeah, that's exactly what a boomer looks like. Spitting out nonsense. You idiots! What are you doing? You no, know, God, he blows up! I forgot about that. I'm the idiot. I should have known. They blow up when they die. You're gonna be a problem later. Oh God, I'm gonna make it you little weirdo! Oh my god, he rides on your back and makes you heavy. I forgot, what you do? Oh, you throw him off. Oh, stop that. Oh, god dang it. Oh, how are you pull- Oh, okay, I guess it's respect. I thought you was making a joke. No. He's idiot's about to die. And I have no part of it! I would help you, but you're gonna run into the thing. So I think it's best to leave you here. Chuck Norris! We're gonna Chuck Norris these things! Yeah! Oh, God damn it! You idiot, you went there anyway. I don't know why I'm so adamant at getting up here. Oh my god, you could've went without me! You're so needy! Don't jump on it, you... Really? <laughs> Bye, dude. Stay safe. Cause the guy can't, I just can't.
Well, we got like, what, one more world in between? Oh, my elbow. This devil's about to be annoying. What's I gonna reach you? I can shoot you in the face. <laughs> I don't know what I was trying to do. This dead face is not even really a dead face. Oh, it was a dead face. I just didn't show the face because I was still shooting. Long range shooting. thing I want to kill him. Oh, you little thing. You, well, I'm only getting certain people now. Why? Oh, wow. That was unnecessary, but also exactly what I want. What are you looking for? A ritual? Don't die. Don't die down there! I don't care. I warned him. Ugh, I thought I had to jump more. I see all of you! Is that his head? I'm trying to kick it. Like a field goal! Alright, I have my new save point up there. So if I die, die. That's where I go. Get the devil yet? No. That's what I'm looking at. Executioners! The pinnacle of undead the gymming technology. Undead Jimmy. All right. That what you want to call it? Fire! It's just fire. Just say it. Oh God! I fell. Why did I fall? Why? <laughs> Terminator. You just don't want to be here, do you? Oh, good God. Really? I don't think I can get that many lives or here. My land!
Hey, uh, JB. Oh, what? Why? I'm dying from the stupidest things. I try to move as fast as I can, but I can't move that fast. Robocop, because he's made of metal. Almost died from accident. Have fun with that. Leaving. Oh gosh. Is that, a, is that an okay sound? There you go. After all, he is just a demon. Oh no, don't make me go down. Okay, I'm going up. You're just really making me go up. <laughs> yeah, Blade! I was gonna say this is a type of energy, but I'm like, no, it's not. Nowhere near his type of energy. <laughs> Oh man, I want to keep him. <laughs> All right, the chaos is over. Oh God! Look, I know. Lost all your water. No, 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 no! Don't put the blood there! No blood on that! Oh, God. Now you put blood on it anyway! God dang it! I made it, though. Uh, you might have killed me, but I made it! You jack. God dang it! All right, no blood on the thing again. You know, let's, 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 let's try to run through this. Let's see how that goes. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, too. Guess I got to shoot some people. Take away the bright, but I don't know what I'm getting into. I forgot. Oh God, no! Thank you. Oh no! <laughs> oh man, I got some food. I'm so happy. No god. <laughs> I got too excited. French fry! Sorry guys for the noise. French fry! Oh my god, oh man! Oh man, you can't hear it! Y'all gotta play! You know, the story for the guys there. Go go! Oh, it's so tasty. That play better after eating a piece of bread? Well, a night later. 
You gotta beat this game. No, oh, come on! I said we gotta beat this game! Don't make me a liar. I don't have it! You need to leave! Alright. Just making that a living nightmare. No! Oh man! So, the blood of that thing! Okay, it didn't happen. Really? Stop! God dang it! Now you're gonna start having floating bodies! The last thing I need right now, guys. The last thing. <laughs> Oh, Bruce, we gotta go. Oh, no, we really gotta go. I see that, you little magician. You little necromancer son of a mother. Where you at? Both of you, we need to go. Ow. Almost died. Delicious. Oh, let's go. That's what I'm saying. Let's go. I got a friend right here. I eat free games, guys. It's what I do. Ah. Screaming gives you energy. Ah! Oh God! Not dying. Screaming. We're on two different pages right now. Okay, I guess you're fine. Man, they keep taking away the ones I want. Give me the ones I don't need, or they think I need. When what I need is some more fresh fries. I'm gonna get some now. I just wanna where I was. And when I decided to get french fries. Was that me? I'm a man. Sounded like a woman for it. Oh, I'm Andy! Satan! Yeah, okay. Oh, shut down! Here we go, this bull. Oh, God! Why? Get a freak! Oh my god, lemonade. Come on! Straw! Alright, we're not there yet. I think this is the last little drop until we get to the main event. This might be the semi last level, guys. Buddy. I don't want to be your buddy. He laughed about it. That's hilarious. Get out of the way. Why aren't you on a set schedule of not going too far back? Get me up here. No, got it. I'm gonna be your friend. I gotta keep. I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep seeing him. Shut up. I may never be the end of him. 
She would have blown up. Kick him in the face. Yeah, shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Yeah, the hurry and get that one. Oh, God. Well, no, I found the final. This is the semi-final. This is the final level, guys. Let me get a French fry and dark soup before it's done. Oh, I forgot about that. Why? Yeah, shut up! Ah, I need lemonade! I can't breathe! Ah, I can get lemonade real quick. This might be the last level. They look prehistoric. Maybe. My shot is good for them. He knocks them back. You know? We can. Fail. Bread delicious. Three, two, one. Go, go, go. Oh! Oh, buddy. To do. What he had a round two of flying? What the hell was that? Get off me. Alright, that can't be a possible problem at all. There's a there's a part of the I don't know if it's this level or another, but that's a part I'm waiting for. That's gonna be a uh... RNG gods induced. Thing. Get in there! Hi, bruh. Hey, kill Bill. I killed her. Oh my goodness. What a nightmare! You do it! Oh no. <laughs> oh god! Oh my god. Really? Stop it! Okay, cool. A big save. I am getting to the part that I think about. It's not the devil, though. What? Why? Bonebird! Twerk for terror. Eh. Why am I this guy here? Oh, he's so annoying! Go, go, go. 
Oh, you know! Hey, buddy. Just the one I remember. Dang it. Like I said, RNG. <laughs> Just slowly kill the dogs. Oh god, me! Sorry about your friend. The other one. dog has no face. What is on his face? He actually has no eyes. No, God damn it! No flying bodies! The flying bodies, one of the most annoying things about the whole area. Because they blow up! Let's get rid of that. All right, well, good enough. <laughs> Come on. I need a way on. Way on without dying. You can stay there, dude. You'll never leave. You be a nobody! Alright, here's the part I remember. No, oh, he's about to get annoying. Did not helicopter, like, break right here? <laughs> oh my god, shut up down there! Why don't you break like everything else that breaks? It almost killed me. Come on, I'm impatient! Come on, God. That's funny. It's funny when it's not me! Oh, shut up! What the mo Why? Goodness. I'm gonna end up at the bottom of them hurt. Yep, there's a helicopter gun. These fries are delicious. It's like I'm half focused and half eating french fries. Hmm, french fries. Okay. 
It's hilarious. Yeah. All right, Sigourney. Much. <laughs> I'm playing a little too much. <laughs> Why can't I jump for like two seconds? That's funny. died in two ways but both are from chaos <laughs> oh can't go that way not enough jumping space Hey, 
kids, right? That's what I hear. I hear childhood ringing. What the hell was I supposed to do? Give me a machete! Pretty much messing the whole level. But well, it's not the devil. Come on, man. You think I want this dude? I heard him going. Oh, man. Listen to me up here. Again? Oh, yeah, because I missed everything. I'm tripping, I'm eating food. <laughs> Semi hard mode. Oh, Chuck Norris said it couldn't be me. But I keep dying. Sound like some not me problems over here. I'm trying to run away is like not helpful. It just sucks. Oh no, my person, he died. And suck. <laughs> what not to do when you're a necromancer? Stay there and die. There you go. That's what I needed. Oh 
died. Um, good thing I had it. Hi, boys. Run, you fool! Oh my god. Neo, I can't. Seems like I gotta kick them back to him. This is chaotic. How did I beat this game the first time? This devil. God, he said it loud. Lord of Terror. You ain't hell, boy. You wish. America! Fuck yeah! I hate him. All right, Blade. Oh, 
You say bro force? What did I say bro force? You killed the man! Face. I'm shooting fire. Ah, oh, Jesus. The best thing to do is stand in, in place away from that. Crazy! That fire really hurts him. Whoa! I'm time cop. He didn't die. I wish he died. Oh, he's gonna cheat! Okay, cool. Well, he is Satan! What are you doing, Satan? Huh? You gotta implode! Whatever. Is there a running sequence? I forgot what happens. Okay, come on now. Wait, do I remember what happens? Bruh. Oh, I can get up there. Wait, no, I can get up this. What's happening? You better not be glitched up. Oh my god, I can't get on it. Stop shaking the screen for two seconds. Oh yeah, it's a chase sequence. Right? No, that's not the way to go. All right, here I go. Force field. Why is there a question mark after that when you said that? A force field, but deadlier, but deathlier. This chicken tastes like pop the sauce. Funny I said KFC earlier. I get raisin canes now. Oh no, I hate this. I don't think we fight him again. It's just, just Let's go. running sequence. I forgot. God, it's like my horror maker. I haven't played, but I've seen people play. You dick! What did you do to me? You made me lose time. Oh man, you can't wait. If I get a nose, and knows what you're trying to do, the only dude who can really help me is Time Cop. But if you're a second behind, uh, well, you don't have anything to do with that. Man, this one life thing is just ridiculous. Then again. Where would I go if I didn't? Are you gonna be useful to me for once? Oh my god! The only time Rocketeer mattered! Is- Oh, run in the doom! not give me and time cop is one of them I'm too good at the game I'm too good at the game and the RNG the RNG is like an AI it's oh 
Stop it! God, I have to jump at that point. I have to. It's just in my fingers. Uh, why are you yelling? I'm the one with the problem. She can't even run. You did that on purpose. Oh my God, she can't run. Everything is shooting. She can't run. She's missing a leg. Stop yelling. Okay. okay. You bro harder. How dare you? God, and Chuck Norris is kind of fast. Is it a second ahead or a second behind? Dang it. But you can't get a second ahead. That's harder than the second behind. It's easier to achieve. All right, Bright. How fast do you want to kill Bill? Well, act like it. I knew it! They got shot down! Again? I gotta keep going, don't I? I hate you. Yeah, get from the big, like, big machine thing, I think. Yeah! Yeah, big machine thing. I remember this. <laughs> I don't know how you guys. Think the true form. Oh, there we go. Okay. Better get rid of my. Who is in the background? Oh god! Am I even clicked on the game? No! Let's go this. What the? Player 2? There is no player 2! Oh my god. Oh my god, what happened? Why am I? Oh my goodness! Oh god, why? Oh my god, this is this, trolling me now! of this one. There's, there's the boss man. Oh, there's music! No, don't go even at me! Saves a bro. Ow.
Such a bro act like it. I need another bro. Help a bro out. What? That, that, that was bad. They're giving me the worst RNG characters. Come on. and it doesn't work the other. I need somebody with bombs. He doesn't have bombs. He sucks at this part. They killed me in the part he was supposed to be good at. All right, Sigourney. God, if I had Terminator. Terminator has his special. He turns into the Terminator, which makes him invincible in that form. Oh my God, the Predator! Why is he so green? Oh, let me get a piece of this chicken that I'm eating. You know what I'm about to do. Well, that 
and help. He's useless! Come on, give me up, give me up! Come on, man. Ow. If Satan died, where would okay, okay can, can we stop? Okay, come. Why don't you shut up? Uh oh. What a great game. What? What? This White House, America. I'm the party on tax paying dollars. Okay. Don't like that, but okay. It's still weird. Is he holding him? The dog! Oh, dog is so cool! What is 47? Oh, it's a car! Oh, the alien. Wait, what's 347? Nothing? Oh, okay. Oh, God, this is a schedule over? 
sitting in a throne where oh man it said bruce lee oh bro lee i didn't see the fly i didn't see xena i didn't see who else i didn't see desperado or the girl on the far left with a rocket launcher i never seen her then there's some guy with a bat with a uh freaking one hit shotty A lot going on there. Oh my god, I forgot about Raiden! Who else? Raiden! Deep inside the jungle in the shadow of the war. This song is great! I never seen Leon at the bottom right! I'm so sad! I wanna see Leon! Shocking awesome world tour 93. Thanks for playing. Aww, Kill Bill didn't come out in the 90s. I just like the song. song is so great here lies satan rest in peace who put that on that who put rest in peace you could just left here lies satan that's a strong chin bro but here we go pay respects is that a dead bug down there how well first off is glowy secondly how much do you have okay oh, the little bug the poor bug he didn't ask for all that yeah that's okay <laughs> Thank you. 